good for my mental health at all. And I, I, I really don't do them anymore for that reason. But, uh... Rev, shut the fuck up. God, he makes me here sick. Here I am. <laughs> How are you guys doing? This idiot's live. So I'm taking you right to it. And he's already pissing me off five seconds into this. Hi, single dad live. Hi, Kim. Hi, Nora. Hi, Whitney. Like a lot of the Jasmine. time, I'm probably going to be watching this because I'm really Wicked Witch. not doing well. He's Do not doing well. you understand what I mean? No. We don't understand what you mean, Rev. Get a fucking job, you piece of fucking shit. We are tired of hearing this. We don't know what you mean. All you're doing is getting on here to beg for money. Yeah, I really do need to get my mental health better. That's that's correct. So do we. So does everybody else, Rev. Welcome to fucking life. Like, <laughs> I, I just... My God. Awesome shot of thirst. Hi, Donald. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Trina. Little Miss Cindy. Blonde Express. I mean, Blonde Impress. Let me get it right. Hi, Ellen. I'm doing my best, nerdy. Hi, Rybug. Hi, No One Really Matters. Hi, Four mile, More Miles. I hope you guys are yeah, doing good. Yeah, thank you for that. I Lori, appreciate that. This guy. I'm doing my best. He's in the same shirt and shit from the other day, so he clearly probably has not bathed. He can't even be bothered to bathe. Because I watched my mom die of cancer. So oh my god. Did y'all just hear what he just said? He watched his mom die of cancer. Dude, you're manipulative as fuck, Rev. That is so fucking manipulative. As if we should give you money because your mom died of cancer. Wow. I'm trying to find a good way to answer that, uh, Dakini. And, uh, I don't think I can answer that question. Literally didn't, didn't even see their kids, well, Shani's kids yesterday on Thanksgiving. When there's no one else to be here that's it for <clears throat> what it's black I friday do what i gotta do that's, got that's it oh my god if you were gonna do what you had to do you would have a job yeah, by i now. was doing outpatient um and it's just hard to get to these places and then you try you try making appointments and um Bullshit. They schedule them out months ahead and sometimes you miss it and why would you miss it Look, he just told on himself, you guys. This is a really bad situation, you know. He just told on himself. He said he missed it. Not that they canceled it. He missed it. Like, I've been without my meds for a long time now. <laughs> it's like, whatever. That's your fault, whatever. Rev. You just, you gotta deal. If you don't deal, then what do you do? You're, this isn't dealing with it. it. You just gotta figure out a way to deal with it. If it's rocking back and forth and chewing your fingernails and all that, that's, that's what you're dealing with. Okay, well, you're not doing that, Rev. And it actually offends that's me it. that you're saying this shit. As someone who does suffer from anxiety and panic attacks, it offends me, the shit you're saying right now. <laughs> because that's not what's going on with him. Look at him. He's calm as a fucking cucumber, dude. Oh, my God. No, that's fine. This is a special kind of evil to do shit like this. Because exactly, you're, you're telemedicine. Right, bikini. Like don't even have to leave the house for that. My mental health needs to be taken care of, but it's it's whatever, man. But you won't take you know care of I mean? it. But you, you won't. You got to do what you got to do. You're not doing what you have to do, Rev. Quit fucking saying that. If you can't even make it to the appointment, you're not doing what you need to do. Because, by the way, they have telemedicine. And if you don't do it that way, guess what? There's programs where they will come and pick you up and take you to your freaking doctor's appointment. There are programs for that, for people that don't have vehicles. I know. I've been offered shit like that before. I struggle with mental health shit. And guess what? When I have a doctor's appointment, I Welcome show the Wednesday. fuck up. Day. 
Welcome, uh, Thulin. Am I saying it right? Thulin? Like, he's just gonna sit yeah, here. Yeah, this is live. And stare into the camera. For some reason, uh, it's a glitch or something on Twitch that keeps saying reruns. I don't know why. Dude, Twitch needs to take them off. Isn't this, like, against their terms yeah, of service to sit here and beg? Oh, my God. Like, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think you're allowed to do that on Twitch. My God, I'm so sorry, Dakini. Yeah, I lost my mom in 2012. It's rough. It's, I can't. It's really rough. I can't with this I'm guy. Sorry. Oh, my God. <sighs> Hi, Queen of Spade. Hi, Blue. Hi, Tammy. You guys, this guy. Hi, Anita. Hi, Undead Ramen and Marion. Lardo, Red Feather, Debbie. Trying to say hi to everybody as you come in. Yeah, 10 years ago. He lost his mom 10 years ago. But he's going to still use that. I do. I do. I know it's hard. It's very hard. Hi, six drops. I still feel it every day. You know, I miss my mom horribly. Yeah, I miss people in my life that died too, Rev. I miss my grandparents. I miss my uncle. I miss my best friend that died a little over a year ago. Hi, Zola. Hi, Chris. What's who we've doing all right lost now? people she, in our life. She's just laying down. Yeah, she's laying down. She's making you get on here and beg for money because y'all are both so fucking pathetic. You're leeches who just want to leech off everyone else but don't want to do any of the work. Hi, my ass is dragon. Hi, Mick. Like, y'all were hot shit the other day when Shani was talking shit to everyone. Thank talking you, shit to the people sniping her. A.K.A. me. You're not such hot shit today, are you? Because y'all don't have drugs today? Because y'all were high as fuck on, on uh, Wednesday. Yeah, it, it, it really doesn't matter if you had a bad relationship with your mother. It's, it's, it's always going to be a very special relationship. That's true. Oh my god. Yeah, tell Shani all about that. Tell Shani about that special bond that moms have with their kids. Because she doesn't seem to fucking get it. I don't want short hair. I want my long hair back. <laughs> but thanks for the compliments. Who's complimenting this douchebag? Who the fuck is complimenting this douchebag? A troll, I'm sure. No one finds this attractive, Younger, Rev. Huh? Somebody who's sitting here begging Maybe. for money in the, like, most, just, like, you can't even, he can't even be bothered to beg well. He just sits here and stares at the fucking camera. Get a sign, well, go out to I, the street I mean, side, and panhandle there. The best there. thing that can happen is that we get, get Shani into medical care that's consistent and she can figure out what's going on. I mean, that's it. I feel you, Blonde Empress. I am upset, too. Like, I am I am fucking sick of this yeah, shit. Yeah, she's probably going to go to the ER tomorrow. Why is she going to go to the ER tomorrow? What? She's going to go to the ER tomorrow, so you're planning an emergency? Or you're just saying you're going to go and we'll abuse the they system? Do, you know? Why would she be planning to go to the emergency room? You do know that's for emergencies, right, Rev? Emergency rooms are for emergencies. Not because you ran out of drugs. Yeah, they do. We know about that, nerdy. Oh my god. Let's see what's up, Zibonkers. 
All right, Shaw, let me pull it up real quick. God, these two, man. Oh, my God. They get me so fucking pissed. Uh, I got, like... <laughs> I got the only magic cards I got left are right beside me here. I got like four decks left, and that's it. So, so looks like you need something else to set to start shelling. To Did I say shelling? <laughs> it's selling. <laughs> oh God, I need to take it down a couple of notches, you guys, because I don't want to be like, <laughs> you know, I don't know, ridiculous. <laughs> but my God. Um, yeah, Shaw, Dakini. Someone will have to send me a um screenshot. I'm blocked on her Twitter, so it won't let me pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> She's got me blocked, bro. Well, that's one deck. That's a deck. The, I've had this box since I since oh my god, I was 15. It's hilarious. You don't have to worry about it, Shaw. There's I can I can probably sign into my husband's account or something if I need to, or just log out and go uh, back. To I lost it. my glasses. Yeah, they're, I just lost them. I need to get new ones. <laughs> you like angry, Carrie Redfeather? Well, you're getting there today, that's for sure. That's cool. Yeah, I used to have a big bin of cards, too. <laughs> that's in the past. Oh, did you? That's funny. Okay. Look at this guy. Tell me this is a guy that's in that's, mental that's distress. Funny. Does this look like someone yeah, who's mentally in distress to you guys? Him, but it's like the they're gone just like uh I, just four decks. I got four decks left. That's it. Didn't they have two vehicles? What about yeah, selling I'm one really, of those? I I am not good and I I don't know. All right, it, baby. Thank like, you. I got to be on here though. Let me pull it up real quick like now that my honey sent it to me. I can show you guys what dumb shit she's saying on Twitter right now. Because God knows it's probably ridiculous. Oh, Shaw sent it to you. Ew, what the fuck is that? Alright, hold on. Well, that's the thing. I don't I don't so much want to be talking right now. Do you I'm what scared. I, mean? I don't even so know what like I'm looking at right now. But happy. Hold it's on. Like... <laughs> You guys, this is fucking nuts. Hold on. I get ew. that concept. Ew, ew, ew. Hold on. All right, this is what Shani just posted on her Twitter. Um, It says, this is how inflammation breast cancer looks like. Please be your own advocate. Doctors don't like giving mammograms to women under 40. She's claiming that a rash is breast cancer. She's claiming that this is breast cancer. Oh my God. That is not fucking breast cancer, dude. That's not inflammation. Inflammation doesn't work like that, Shani. Look at the line. Look at that perfect line that's there. That's from where your bra is. That's from sweat. Is she fucking serious, dude? Does she think people actually believe this shit? Oh my god. Y'all. I am just, God, she's disgusting. Why is it going further back the more that I go in? Oh, I see. Boop. Nope. Nope. There. That's a little bit better. My God. But you know what I mean? If that was inflammation from something... It wouldn't be like this perfect straight line, would it not? I mean, I'm not a doctor, but to me, that looks like it's a rash from sweat where your bra goes. You know what I mean? Because you sweat right there where your bra is. Especially if any of you have seen her boobs, like they're, <laughs> they're flat, okay? That's all I'm going to say. They're really flat and 
so they would lay down on it like that. It's right where a bra is. That's the only thing that that could be. If it was inflammation, the whole area would be like looking like that. There wouldn't be a line through it like that. Like she is out of her fucking mind. Oh my god. All right, I'm done looking at that shit. God, she's gross. <laughs> I've never seen someone want cancer so bad in my entire life. Like she wants cancer bad. Like, you know what, Lord Jesus? She wants it so bad. Give it yeah, to her. Hopefully Just the give medical it to system her at this can point. uh continue to improve and um people can get their medicines and stuff. People can get their medicines. What are you talking about? Rev. I'm on medicine. I have a doctor. Yeah, I know. It isn't that fucking hard. You're right. A girl has no name. You're right. All you need is a primary care physician. Oh, my God. This fucking guy, dude. Like, what is this even? He's just going to sit here and stare into the camera and not do anything. I'm trying to do what's best for both of us at the same time. No, bitch. If you were trying to do what was best, you'd get a fucking job, Rev. So don't give me that bullshit. You don't give a fuck about doing what's best. Just like you didn't give a fuck about the kid that you drop kicked in the fucking head. So get the fuck out of here. If anybody wants to go to her Twitch and say a couple of things from me, please feel free. Just let me know if you want to know, because I got things to say to this motherfucker. I would love to get just one conversation with him. Just one. He wouldn't be able to handle it, though. This shit is fucking pathetic. On another level. And it's manipulative as fuck. That guy, it's a staph infection, you think? I don't know what the fuck that was, but it ain't cancer. That's not how cancer fucking works. And until well, you I'm go to a doctor, to, uh, you can't say whether you have cancer or not. Do something good by being on here. I mean, maybe there's some of you in the chat who have had cancer before or known someone yeah, close you to you that had cancer. That. Did it look like cancer to you guys? I'm not the expert on cancer, but to me, I don't think it works like that. Normally, you don't have signs like that either. Like, it's not, it just doesn't work like that. I heard Daikini. Yeah. Is her name Daikini because of your name? <laughs> what? Shani asks, uh, Daikini, is, it, is that your name because of Willow? Shani, grow the fuck up. If you got something to say, get on camera and no, say No, I ain't it. zen at all, Zabonker, Zabonkers. I'm not zen at all. Really? You I'm look calm as a cucumber. I'm trying my best to, like, ignore bad stuff. And, like, Mike really helps me. Watching Mike helps me. I'm I'm just trying my best to Watching to be what? okay. It's just my own effort, you know. No rev, no rev. Stop trying to lie to us. Stop trying to trying to lie to the I've audience. Been outside. That's... You're so full of shit. Fresh air does help. <laughs> then get outside more. Look at him. What is this? What the fuck is this? Like, what are they hoping to accomplish right now? I hope that uncle comes, shows up, and kicks them the fuck out. ASAP. Because you know what, Rev? If you're not willing to work, you deserve to be homeless. I said it. No, her name is... You deserve it, to be homeless. D-A-K... And I don't have I any I, sympathy. After the 11th Insight book. So, no.
Yeah, Shani's in pain. Bad pain. Good. Good. I'm glad the bitch is in pain. How about that? No, you didn't miss nothing, Shorty. I hope she's in severe pain. I really do. Maybe that's mean. Maybe I should, like, get some help because I am a mean person. I don't know. All right, Blonde Empress. Hang in there. I know how you feel. I know how you feel. <laughs> it's pissing me off, too. Uh, yeah, she, she does Oh, I'm so sorry, Debbie. Trying. I'm really sorry to hear that. That's awful. I'm so sorry, Debbie. Yeah, I rub her all day, you know. I, I, I try to massage her most of the day. <laughs> Hi, Trash Panda. How are you doing? These two are pissing okay, me the gotcha. fuck off. Dakini. Like, what is his point here? I just don't understand. He's just going to sit here and stare. Like, Rev, get a job. Rev, you need to get a job. If you can sit and stare at the screen to do this, you can no, work. I mean, nerdy, it's mainly, it's mainly just pain everywhere. Right. He can't even say what is wrong with Shani. They're just gonna, oh, it's just pain everywhere. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Aw, thank you, Trash Panda. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're so sweet. Mick, I don't care about it either. Yeah, yeah. Probably I'm because we hear, hear this that. bullshit all the time. And they never do yeah, anything it really about is it. Hell because it's like you're a prisoner in your own body. It's like you want to do things, but you can't. You're just trapped in your body. Rev? It's, it's horrible. Rev, welcome to being a human. We all go through that. Every single one of us. We don't feel good all the time. That's not fucking realistic. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Cats are doing alright. Wow, THC muffin, you broke your back in a motorcycle accident my god see these other people are telling him shit like hey we go through this they she broke her back in a motorcycle accident that's worse than what shanny's going through and that's the thing there is always someone that's going through something worse than you always so when you start to feel bad about yourself that's what you have to remind yourself i mean there for god's sake there are children out in this world that have cancer there are children dying of cancer right now Stop feeling sorry for yourself. It could always be worse. Yeah, we love our babies. You don't love anybody, Rev. You don't love anybody. You don't love your cats. You don't love the kids. You don't love Shani. Because love would would actually put itself out. Love would be you would do what you had to do to make sure that your family is okay. You do not do that, Rev. That is not love. Yeah, she's been that is selfishness. Weight. Lots of weight. So that's another reason why Bullshit. we think that it is. is, it, it is. <clears throat> Bullshit. Shani hasn't lost any goddamn weight. Are you? I, I want to get a scale. Get her a scale and, and start putting her ass on a scale. And prove to us that she's lost weight. Because I don't believe you. Not for a fucking second. Which is ironic and just mind-boggling boggling to think about as broke as that they are, that she still doesn't lose weight. Rev, nobody's going to come and save you. I don't know what you're trying to do here, but you're wasting your time. And I pray to God, right now, anybody, anybody that's watching them, does not feel sorry for them and does not give them money because it's the last thing they need. They need to hit rock bottom. They have not hit rock bottom yet. They need to. The he needs to realize that guess what? 
you are either going to get a job or you're going to be on the fucking streets. Period. And that's what would happen to all of us. The people that he wants to beg for money, what would happen to us if we didn't go to work and, and take care of our responsibilities? Right? We'd be fucking homeless. There's nobody that's going to come and bail us out. Like, <laughs> but somehow they feel entitled to that. And they feel entitled to your money. He's even when they've classy. already spent so much money because they were irresponsible with their fucking money. I that's love our both problem. cats and dogs now. That's not our problem. Hello. They had more money than most of us will ever have. Ever. And because they blew through it, they're entitled to our money now? No. No. We have kids to feed too, Rev. You guys don't even have that anymore. You only have yourself to worry about, so start fucking worrying about it. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Get a fucking job so you don't have to do this bullshit oh. all the time. And sit here and beg like a pathetic fucking loser. Shani's trying to say she has cancer again, Angela. They're they're doing that game again where, where Shani has cancer. Because she has a rash on her boob. So it's cancer. It's got to be. You know, when you get a can when you get a rash, of course, the first thing you think is cancer. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my god. Weather's whatever, you know. At least it ain't snowing. What is he doing? This is so fucking stupid, dude. Just so stupid. You guys could talk to each other. Like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm trying to chill out, man. I'm doing my best to not fall apart, okay? What? What? Oh, my God. This guy, dude. This fucking guy. I've never seen somebody this pathetic before. Like this this is this is getting out of control, Rev. Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna cry, Rev? Please cry. I wanna see you cry. Cry and, and really push those tears out so somebody gives you some money. At least then you'll have earned it. But you can't probably even be bothered to, to squeeze a tear out. Like, my God. Get a fucking life, bro. What, honey? <laughs> yeah. Shani, why don't you get your fat ass up and come get on camera instead of making him do it all the time? Don't you get tired of that, Rev? She's on off camera going, oh, this hurts and I'm itching in here and oh, oh, oh. like Shani, shut the fuck up. These doctors need to take it seriously. Mm -hmm. Fuck off, Shani. I'd love to hear from you a little bit. You want to hear? You want to be on a little bit? Just a I little. Don't have the energy. She won't do it. Won't do it. Won't get up and be on camera. See, Rev? That's how much she cares about you. She can't be bothered to do that. 
you got to beg. Don't you get tired of that? Don't you get tired of her making you go get on camera when she's the one basically that blew through all your money? And now you have to do this? Yeah, I do. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that's how in he ended it. <laughs> oh, my God. So she literally had to give him permission to get off of there. Wow, dude. All right, let's go to the beginning of this shit, whenever this started. Let's see. Hold on. How many of these are there? Wow. An hour ago? Okay. Let's start here. I'm not going to rewatch that last one again if all he's going to do is sit there and stare at the camera. Maybe he actually said something earlier on. Nobody up, donated. What? How you doing? Uh, I am a I'm a stand in for Shanny. Um, a stand in for Shanny. Have, probably have to get used to me standing in quite a bit. Um, because uh, Shanny is severely sick, and um, I I don't even I don't like going uh, into really personal and and. Um, I don't really want to go deep into it, but it's not, it's very serious, guys. It's very, very serious. So, um, for people that, uh, are believers, um, I would really appreciate if you could pray. Um. Oh, I'm praying, it's, all right. It's, it's very, very bad, guys. I'm praying that you two wake the fuck up. That's what um, I'm praying for. I don't, I don't have, uh, really, I, 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 <laughs> I got a lot on my mind, but it's, uh, nothing that I really want to talk about, to be honest. Shaw, they don't even deserve a dollar. So, um, I'll just talk they to really the chat, don't. you know. Because if, like, just think about it, if you did that, what if 15 other people think the same thing? That's how they're getting by. It's because people do that. You know what I mean? And people think, like, or like want to fuck with them or whatever. Like, I wouldn't even give them that. I, like, I really wouldn't. I think that they need to be hitting rock bottom. They don't need shit. They don't need to have money for cigarettes. And yeah, and I, sure, go to the emergency room, Shanny, for a rash. Please. I love that. I, I wish I could be there to see the doctor's face when you show up at the emergency room for a rash. They're going to be like, what? Are you serious? Like, you think that's an emergency because you are you have a rash under your boob? Like, come on. No, I cannot see her chat, Auntie Fawn. I might be able to see it, wait, with the replay. Um... But I know I can't see it when it's live. Um, because they have me blocked. So let me see if I can pull it up with the replay. Sometimes I, on my phone I know I can. So maybe I can. Let me see. I'm trying to mentally um, be okay. And I have Mike Matei on. And he really helps my mental uh, health a lot. Oh, he really helps my mental health. So I appreciate him. Shut up, Rev. Let me see. Here. Like the past, I don't know how many years, um, when I get into a really bad mental state, uh, where the would thing the... that works the best. All right, maybe Shaw or some of you guys can tell me, where would the chat even be? Why can't, I mean, I don't see, let me see. When I play it on my phone, okay, um, when I replay it, I'm able to see it, but I don't see it on my PC. And I'm not sure why. Hold on. Let me look. Yeah, see, when I try to replay it on um, my phone, it's there. So I can read what's being said because I'm sure it's not anything is, crazy. Is putting Mike Matei on. That, for me, anyway, it really works. You know? I don't see anybody chatting. That's yeah, kind of it's weird. not under the video, unfortunately. See? Like, this is what... Well, hi, everybody. What's underneath there. How are you doing? I've been better. 
Now, uh, Channel 69 Girl News, we, uh, we, didn't, know, we didn't do any uh, Black Friday shopping, unfortunately. Pop out player? God bless you, Magdalena. How you doing, Iconic? Log out? Yeah, but then we have to watch the ad, Sabella. If I log out, we'd have to walk. Which, I mean, I, I'm fine. I can sit through the ads. That's up to you guys. If you if you want that or not, what do you guys think? Let me see if I if I log out if it actually lets me do that though, because it might still not let me do it. Hold on. All right, I logged out. The holidays. There's the ad, but see, I still don't see. Where um Amazon have just the gift to bring the families together. chat would be. I mean, there's not that much that's being said in their chat. I could just read it off, but what do you guys think? Um Let me log back in. What's up guys? What is How that? you doing? Oh no, that's not it. Uh, I am a, I'm a stand in for Shani. Um, you guys are going to oh, have, probably what? have to now get I gotta used to do some special shit. Hold on guys. Give me one second. <clears throat> Hold on guys. Even on replay. On my phone, I can see it. That's what's weird. So I don't know why I can't pull it up on my PC. But I might just, um, you know, I can read the ones that are noteworthy. Um, hold on. Let me sign back in, though, real quick. All right. One. All right, we're back in. Me, that was our meal. Boop. I'm going to go back a little bit because when I was talking. um, And let me read what so far people are saying real quick. So somebody says, did you get anything cool for Black Friday? Um, we're your friend. Your fans are here for you and your woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my phone is Android, Donald. Um, another person just says, howdy. Another one, hello. I must have missed the start again. Uh, people are asking if they did anything fun for Thanksgiving. Are they staying with the uncle? Which we know the answer to that. Um, more questions about food. And then someone said, your hair's growing back, looking good. So, people aren't saying a whole lot. We're not missing missing much in the uh, chat. Is that why, Donald? Because I'm not on Android on my computer or whatever. That sucks. Yeah, I guess. What did he say? Hold on. You got yourself. God bless you, Magdalena. How you doing, Iconic? How you doing, Maybe the Quiet? No, you're fine. I just started not long ago. God bless you, Chill from Chobits. No, we, we didn't do nothing for Thanksgiving, really, Channel 69. Hey, Taylor. I'm not going to talk about any personal stuff. Really? I'm sorry. I'm just gonna... I'm not going there. It, there's been so much bad stuff that's happened to us over talking about our personal lives. Yeah, this is from just it. an hour ago, Colleen. I just can't do it. This is fresh off the Are presses. Are we okay? Well, I mean... Yeah, I guess. 
Wait, what did he just you say? You got yourself some Swiss chalet. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, what? Are we okay? Well, I mean... Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Well, then you're okay. You got yourself some Swiss chalet for Thanksgiving? Okay, is that like a strain or something? What did we eat for Thanksgiving? Uh, pasta with nothing on it. <laughs> pasta with nothing on it. Wah. That's better than nothing at all, dumbass. <laughs> yeah. No sound? Ooh, pasta. Are you we sure? Don't we didn't have... Wicked Witch says there's no sound. Do you guys hear... Or is everybody else able to hear sound? Any salt. Let me know yeah, if you guys aren't hearing pasta. it. I know. It's, it's, we had one box of farfalle left, so it's like that was our meat. That was our meal. It's a restaurant that's in Canada. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, the hair's fine. Whatever, you know. Ooh, salt. Yeah, too much salt is a bad thing. Okay. And American food, we know how American food is. It's like, wow, there's a lot of salt in everything. It's a big problem. <laughs> Thank you for the compliments on my hair. Four Thanksgiving meals wearing stretchy pants. There you go. Why not? That's what it's for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm living proof you can Disney live bastard. on peanut butter, though. He's living proof you can live off peanut butter, guys. Peanut Why butter is actually pretty PJs good for you. For Thanksgiving, I think. yeah. Well, pasta for the holidays is huge. Right, in Ohio? vegan for life. Okay. Exactly. Interesting. If they were hungry, they would go to a fucking uh, food pantry place. <laughs> I can't marry anyway, and I'm already married. Oh, please. But yeah, pray for Shani, please. No. If nope. If there's anything I want you to, to do, it's pray for Shani. I'm not praying for shit. That'll work, Channel 69 News. That's fine. Let me look at the chat again on my phone real quick. Hold on. Uh. I I don't I don't recall Shani ever having a blood clot. Did you have a blood clot? Oh my god. I don't. He doesn't even remember it. You guys, are you hearing this? He says he doesn't recall Shani having a blood clot. Yeah, cause she didn't. But she got on there saying she would, saying she was gonna die from one. Literally gonna die from one. Telling it that uh, G Man that it would be on his, the blood would be on his hands. She was gonna die with a blood clot because he's kicking them out of the motel. Rev doesn't even remember that. She says so much bullshit, he can't even keep track of what illnesses she's claimed to have. Uh,. I, I don't I don't recall Shani ever having a blood clot. Did you have a blood clot? I don't recall Shani having a blood clot. Because she didn't. <laughs> There's a reason you don't recall it. Because she didn't. Yeah, Shani's not doing well at all, guys. I mean, I'm, I don't want to talk about it because it upsets me so bad. But if you go to her Twitter and you look at one of the pictures that she just posted today on her Twitter, you're going to know what it's about. Rev, you're a fucking liar. You're a piece of shit, and you're a fucking liar. Because you know damn well. That's why you don't want to talk about it. It's not because you get upset. It's because you're a fucking liar. And you know that you're not good at lying. And if you lie, you're probably going to tell on yourself. Because that's what you do. 
you're not as good of a liar as Shani is. Shani can really make the bullshit up on the fly and keep track of her bullshit. You always tell on you guys. You 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 always are the one that like says too much and ends up putting your foot in your mouth. So it's easier for you just to not say anything at all. Like, oh my god. I know Shani's beautiful face. That's right. Shani's beautiful face. Right, <laughs> but she's just not well enough to be on. Uh, old weather guy, she's at, she would consider that if it was legal in the country. Thanks for the prayers, Calamity. Yeah, she's keeping her legs up. She's keeping her legs up. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, go to go to her Twitter. So needless to say, like me even being on a stream right now is not what I want to be doing at all. Yeah, okay. we can tell. But, we can uh, tell. But she you're doing feels it anyway. Like she has a obligation to the audience, so that's why I'm here. Bullshit! An obligation to uh, the audience? No, you want money. Nikki, we we Get the fuck got out of some here. food, but we're desperately in need constantly at this point because we're out of the we're out of EBT. So if you you want to donate, donate to at Shanny Needs Love, or donate to at Rev Dude. That's me. They, on PayPal, they're PayPal. Yeah, she only wanted me to do this. That's correct. I appreciate that. I'm not the galt, though. I'm not the galt to mess with. No, y'all aren't missing anything, by the I'm way, from not Carol. seeing the uh, chat. Good lord. I'm watching it. Everybody in their chat's just, like, saying no dumb shit, not really saying anything. Like, somebody asked, sing Christmas shoes. Um, sing a Christmas song. It's my favorite song. Um, damn, maybe Shani can sing. Somebody else said, just sent what I could. So I don't know what they sent, but somebody sent them some money. Um, another person that went and, I guess, and looked at the Twitter said, it looks like a rash, which is because that what was what it was. Um, another person just said, God is busy with someone else. I know him. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. No, I'm not good. Um, Billy, this is all. not live. It's just like from an hour ago, though. So it's really new. But it, no, it's not live. He's not. They're not live anymore. In fact, let me double check and make sure they're not. Yeah, they're not live anymore. Beezer Beauty, I, I would, I would discuss it, but it's, it's really. It's just go to her. Her Twitter is at Shanny Needs Love. Just go to her Twitter. Yeah, you can't be bothered to lie, can you? Thank you. Thank you so much. Key, key, I, I mean, these names are ridiculous. Wow, Thank dickhead. You. These names are ridiculous. That's a shitty way to thank someone. I don't know what the banana means. Gavin's been very attentive to her. 
because he knows that she's very sick. Oh my god. I think he smells it on her. What? No, he smells funk. He smells fungus God bless feet, you. as G-Man says. <laughs> oh, God. It's more than a rash, trust me. If you, if you look, if you know where that is, and I think you can tell where that, where that is on her body. Uh, Don't even. I can't fucking do this. Don't even. Do not do it, Rev. You're such a fucking liar, dude. Such a fucking liar. Her Twitter is at Shanny Needs Love. Yeah, that's true. God is good. God hey, Pain good. Lash. Yeah, we might need to, Stephen, soon. Now, I know you're not attacking anyone. I understand that what you're saying it looks like. I know what you're saying it looks like, but it's... If you look it up... <clears throat> exactly, Pain Lash. She posted a picture on... In fact, hold on. Let me pull it up just in case any of you guys haven't seen this. Let me pull up the picture and show you. Um, because it's fucking ridiculous. This is the picture that Shani posted on her Twitter. And she's saying, I'll read the caption. Hold on. And it says, this is how inflammatory breast cancer looks like. Please be your own advocate. Doctors don't like giving mammograms to women under 40. This is, this is what she just posted. She's saying that this is breast cancer. So, apparently now when you get a rash... It's breast cancer. You can look and tell that that's a rash. Like, it's clear to see. Look at the line. It goes right where the, the bra line is. Or where your boob flaps over. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a yeast infection. And she doesn't bathe, so... You know... But this is what they're saying is cancer. Yeah, Shaw, what it probably is, is she probably sweats because she's in that fucking, look, I mean, you can tell from the arm sleeve that she's in that hoodie, and when you're inside in the winter, and the heat's going, and you're in a hoodie, you know what I mean, like, you're going to start sweating and stuff, that's what it is, and not bathing. Oh, you DM'd me. A S S and the reply underneath was hilarious. Okay, let me see if I can pull that up. Um, let me go ahead and pull this up, back up, and we'll let this play some more while I'm looking for that. No, I ain't filming in the ER. No way. I'm not gonna do that. Why? You sure didn't mind filming in the ER when you were there. I don't know if any of you guys remember that, but he did that. In fact, oh, I'll pull it up. Because I like to back up what I say. So you guys know that I'm not full of shit. Um, let's see here. Because this isn't a long one either. 
But he had no problem filming in the ER when he was there. So why can't Shani? One second while I'm pulling it up. Here we go. All right. Further down, further down, further down. By the way, before I even click on it, let me share XX's uh, link boop, boop, to where I'm getting this from. This is XX Archives. That's where I get all this wonderful archived footage from. So definitely check her out. If you like Shanny stuff, it's a good place to go and get it. All right, here we go. It's um, right here. This was Rev at the no, ER. No, I'm popping a second video already from this place. Oh, wait, hold on. There must be one more. Because he said a second video. I think that's the only one, though. So, I don't know what he's talking about a second video, but here we go. We'll go back to this one. No, no I'm, I'm popping a second video already from this place, okay? Now, I want you to understand something. This is Rev at the emergency room with a vape, no, nonetheless, and live streaming from the emergency room. That's very important to understand. And I'm going to be referencing. I want, I want to point you to the video with, that's a vlog. And I'm sorry that it was so all, all over the place, but I had a lot of stuff on my mind, right? So, it was a little chilly in here. It's not cold anymore. So, here's the thing, okay? This would be a lot easier, okay? That's it. It would be a lot easier for me to have a whiteboard or a chalkboard and we map out everything. Um, Red Feather, I'm looking for what you sent me. Will you send it to me again? Where did you send it at? Because I don't know. I'm trying to pull it up, but I can't find it. Sorry. If you could resend it or just tell me where you sent it to so I know where to look. Because when it comes, when it comes to discussing, okay... When it comes to the issue of this, hi, how you doing? Sir, yeah. There's no vaping allowed now. No vaping. Did you hear that? He was literally vaping in the emergency room. In the emergency room. You can't, like, I can't with this fucking idiot. When it comes to discussing, okay? When it comes to the issue of this, hi, how you doing? Sir, yeah. There's no vaping allowed now. No vaping in the hospital. I got it. Okay. That I should assume that. I'm an idiot. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. You are an idiot. Going I'll back give you to that. The beginning. Okay, <laughs> I'm on here the second time in the hospital already, and I want to tell you something. Okay, I'm going to reference the the Mason, uh, the day one, the, my first vlog video, and and it's called uh, discussing an intro. It's discussing an intro to Christian esotericism and and. It, it, you can have a Christianity uh, oriented Masonic uh, faith. Now, the top Masons will say that's impossible. Uh, no, no. It, you can. The only requirement for, for for you to be a Freemason is is that you have some kind of faith, and it could even be a faith. It could even be faith. Who does? Just who does? Well, the video shit. With that. Who does shit like this in the emergency room? Tell me that. Who does shit like this in the emergency room? Like, oh my kind god. Kind of faith. And it could even be a uh, faith. It could even be faith in just a system. Right? And in the case in the case And notice his shirt. He's got Shanny on his shirt. Case of the New World Order, I would say that they worship systems and they worship certain bloodlines. And uh it's it's very uh, at the bottom line, end of the day, most researchers, including William Cooper, the great Bill Cooper, would tell you 
that the main thing that they worship is the gen male generative force, which is the penis, the, the erect penis of Osiris, which was... Oh. My. God. He's talking about erect penises up in here. He is in the motherfucking emergency room talking about fucking masons and erect penises and shit. Like, what the he, fuck is happening Bill right Cooper now? would tell you that the main thing that they worship is the gen male generative force, which is the penis, the, the erect penis of Osiris, which was, he was dismembered and the, they found all the pieces, but they, they couldn't find his member. That, that's the story of Nimrod and, and, and you can take it myth, whatever, if you want to say it's myth and, and whatever, it doesn't matter. He became a Giborim, which is a giant. He became a Gibor. Which is a, it's like a, it's, it's an, a monstrosity to, to, as far as we know, it's a monstrosity to God, okay? He became, he became something <laughs> other than just human. He became a, 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 some kind of genetic freak hybrid or some shit like that. It's something like that. So, um, I'm a key cat shirt. So. Look but, at this guy. If you have faith in something, you can be a mason. Now, now some, some people say that it goes as far, okay, it goes as far reaching yes, as this is, not just... This is him at the emergency room. This is what he's doing at the fucking emergency room. Look at his arm. See where they took blood? You know, of faith, but they openly force you to worship Lucifer. I don't know that to be true. You have a lot of people that say a lot of things about a lot of things. And, and, and you can and, trust and, and verify, and, and I guess. A lot of things about so, a lot of things. Yeah. We're gonna get you out. Be stitching together three videos here. It's like, Look at this guy. Uh, Look at this guy. I'm getting my meds and I'm getting out of here. This is so incredible and they were great in this hospital. I love this hospital. You won't know where it is. It's in southeastern Pennsylvania. It's a great hospital. Uh, I'm going to make a video, big one, on esoteric Christianity. I'm oh, yeah, this was when he was lying and trying to say that he was still somewhere else. Like, he was in, in southeast Pennsylvania, as in he wasn't at Shanny's, at, at the house with Shanny, which we all know was bullshit. Start to, uh, to, to, look, metaphysics. You have to start looking at things like um, sacred geometry. Uh, if you want to know about these things, it's interesting. Well, now, you as a Christian, I want you to know that there's darkness. Don't do the dark. If you love Jesus Christ, you've already won the battle. You're in the light. But if you want to know, if you want to know more things, dude, maybe you know what I just thought. Maybe he's really, really smart. Because talking like this in the emergency room, they probably will give you strong drugs. Because they're like, this motherfucker is out of his goddamn mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe this is genius. That he's making himself look like a fucking psychopath. So that they are like, you know what? Let's give him what he needs and get him the fuck out of here. This fucking nut job. Expand your spiritual horizons and learn more. If you're doing it ruminating on the Holy Spirit, you're going to be fine. You get it? I'll be back. Wow. Wow. That's all I'm going to say. So, this bullshit he's spouting here, saying he wouldn't film in the emergency room. <clears throat> huh. Bullshit. You wouldn't film in the emergency room. You didn't have a problem doing it then. No, I ain't filming in the ER. No way. Not gonna do that. Wait, why isn't it lined up? Hold up. No, I... Why is it not lined up now? Hold on. No, I ain't filming in the ER. No way. Not gonna do that. Did it do this before? Yeah, shower and definitely make that's that's a good suggestion. Makes you feel Wait, better. Wait, hold on. That's true. Hold up. Hey, let's see if we can get it. 
Maybe it wasn't lined up originally. I don't know. Oh, wait. Up. <clears throat> now, I know you're not attacking anyone. I understand. Where were we at? Yeah, that's true. God is where that is on her body. Okay, uh, here we go. I can't fucking do this. I can't fucking do this. Oh, poor Revy Poo. He can't handle talking about shit on a stream. Her Twitter is at Shanny Needs Love. Yeah, that's true. God is good. God is good. Oh, here, I got something else yeah, for you Yeah, we might guys. need Hold to, on. Stephen. So. Let me pull this up. Do, 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 no, I know do, you're not attacking do, 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 anyone. I understand that what you're saying it looks like. I know what you're saying it looks like, but it's... But it's what, If you Rev? look it up... <clears throat> No, I ain't filming in the ER. No way. I'm not going to do that. Oh, you won't do it? But you'll do it when you were at the ER. Yeah, shower and definitely make... Here, one second, guys. I want to show you something real quick. That someone was nice enough to send over to me. Boop. Let me pull it up. This is a... Um, the post that Shani put on Twitter, but we, we were going to read the, uh, the caption down here. Cause she says, this is how inflammatory breast cancer looks like. Please be your own advocate. Doctors don't give mammograms to women under 40. Somebody said this guy, dead Jason says that's not inflammatory breast cancer. It's what you, <laughs> it's from you not washing your damn sweaty skin folds. Stop with this disgusting sympathy donating donation fishing you are spitting in the face of actual breast cancer um victims and karma is a vengeful thing and then someone else said it might actually be MRSA I know a woman who had symptoms similar to breast cancer and it turned out to be MRSA it's the breast tissue she needs to get go get the rash cultured ASAP so <laughs> yeah I think the guy was right as well and what he was saying. That's that's a good suggestion. Makes you feel better. That's true. Yeah, a yeast infection. Self care is important. Or a fungal infection. And and when you really get into a bad place, that self care is one of the things that can go. Yeah, if she can feel good enough to get going, maybe. It's good stuff. Nothing like a hot bath. Last time I talked to him, my uncle's doing good. In an acid bath? <laughs> oh. The god uh, Red feather not fitting in the tub can prevent you from bathing. <laughs> we we had a whatever Thanksgiving. It was... We had a whatever Thanksgiving. Okay. <laughs> we had a nothing Thanksgiving. We just ate pasta. It was nice because it was... Um, It was nice because we hung out together, you know, and we we enjoy each other's company. 
Yeah, we talked to the kids fairly recently. God, he's so fucking pathetic, you guys. I just, oh my God, I cannot. Now, I got to create a new Ugh. Amazon account, maybe the quiet. Like, I got to, I'll take care of that. But I got to make a new. Hey, David Anthony, how are you doing? I don't know how you think we're going to get gifts for our kids. I, I really don't. Yeah, go get a job. Did he really just say that? Hold on. Hold the fuck on. We're going to account and stuff. I don't know how you think we're going to get gifts for our kids. I, I, I don't really... know how you think you're going to get gifts for our kids. Rev. It's called a fucking job, you piece of shit. Even if you didn't have one, though, there are programs and things that you can go to to get your kids something for Christmas. But you guys are too lazy to do that, I'm sure. Thank God those kids are not with you. Thank God they're in foster care because they might actually have a good Christmas this year. They might actually be put first. Because last year, on Christmas Eve, you two were high out of your fucking minds. Shani's slobbering on a fucking candy cane while you talk about fucking... What, what, was he, what was he talking about? Beating Jared Leto's ass and shit? Like, oh my god. Look at this douchebag. Look at him. Like, oh my god, he's pathetic. Yeah. Yeah, they probably will, Channel 69. Maybe things will get better. I'm not the galt. The, the gal? Sorry, I'm not the gal to mess with. That's what it is. I'm not the gal to mess with. Sorry. No, it's it's more than that. There's other things that make us know that it's more than that. Bullshit. I'm watching Mike Matei play uh, Metal Gear Solid VR missions. Because Mike helps me calm down when I'm not doing well. You guys want to see what they were doing last year for Christmas? If you want to see, in the, let me know in the chat if you guys want to see what they did last year on Christmas Eve. And if you want to see a video of them high out of their fucking minds. Not giving if a you'd fuck like to donate, about the kids. Uh, Sh Shani's PayPal is at Shani Needs Love. And uh, mine is at Rev Dude if you'd like to help. You guys want to see that? All right. It's a lot more entertaining than this fucking bullshit that he's doing right here, too. This is a personal fave, actually. <laughs> because they are so fucking high out of their mind here. Like, you guys, it's, it's insane. I guess we should check chat. Oh. Angela, when was the last time she was on? On Twitch, she was on 
uh, Twitch Wednesday night was the last time she was on. Sugar. Candy canes. God created sugar. God and created everything. God That's a good one too, Red Feather. I can show that one too. God created Nikado Avocado. Yes, he did, and, and Nick loves God. Yes, he does. He does. He does. Yeah. And you look so pretty tonight. Thank you. You really do, babies. You look very cute. Thank you. Look yeah, at this bitch. And look at Sorry him. Sorry for my absence. Um, I had a much needed internet break. Here she yeah. goes. I'm just stuck on a candy really cane. Enjoying life and watching a lot of Xena. Like a lot of Xena. Like she's really good to fall asleep to. Yeah, it is enjoyable actually. Mm hmm. Uh, you wouldn't think all those. Shit. You know, you wouldn't think that that was the greatest to sleep to, but it can be. I know. The odulating? It, that's what they call it. It's amazing they gave it a name. Mm, yeah. Ukulating? Uh, Utilating. Utilating. U U U U it. U D U L A T I N G. I I U D I N G. Ugulating, you calculating, yodeling. <laughs> Something like that. Merry Christmas, everyone. How are you guys? Yeah, Merry Christmas. How are you guys? She is How are Christmas. you guys? <laughs> True. We have a Rev and a Gavin. Oh my god, this is a boy. See, this is a boy. This is a boy. Uh, that extremely loves uh, everybody. This this is a boy. Poor cat. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. This is Gavin. He's a boy. You thought I'd forget about you guys. Nuh-uh. See the boy? Nuh-uh, man. That's not how it works. This is a boy. I was taking a much needed break from YouTube. And I've lost a lot of weight. She's lost a lot of weight. Um, <laughs> Where, bitch? Because I have thoroughly been enjoying... Crack? My PT. Meth? My physical therapy. And I can already see the effects of it. And I feel... A lot better. So. So. Well done on physical therapy. Really learning how the human body works. Bitch, please. Learning how to make someone feel better. Oh, give me that good shirt. Yes. Gavin, get that shirt. He's a boy. It's a beautiful He's thing. a boy. He loves you. Gavin loves everyone. He does. Gavin loves everyone. Like, like weirdos in chat are saying, like, do you want to see my hands? Well, there you go, weirdo. Like, my hands. Like, I have to, you have to be able to see my hands at all times. Why? <laughs> really weird. People are strange. Well, in case people don't know. It's annoying. In case people don't know. I am Shani. I am the cult leader. She's the cult leader. And this is my reverend, Mr. J. Yeah. Mr. J. And that's Ooh. Mr. J. Like, we should, like, fix you, baby. There. And then that pushes you up. You gotta remember, you know? Yeah, I gotta push it down. You're like a dual director of some sort, some kind of amazing dual director. I'm like Amaranth, but chubby. Yeah, a cheek tattoo. Did I get a cheek tattoo? Or did they mean you. That's you. Me. Yeah. No. Um, no, Danica. This is from last Christmas Eve. 
a year ago when they still had the kids. When they still had the kids, this is what they were doing. They were getting high out of their fucking mind. This is a stamp. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> well... I apologize, my it's love. Right. It's, it's stuff that happens, you know? It's like, I, I mean, like, we were shitting him for hours. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. We were making out. <laughs> Huh. And look at that. Is that your balls again? Yeah, I don't care. We're I having technical. Hours, man. I don't care. We were having technical difficulties. <laughs> Jesus. This is unacceptable in my <laughs> calls. <laughs> Those son of a bitches. Look at that. Oh my god, it was such a good day, you know? <laughs> Jesus Christ is good. Jesus is good. He's really good, man. Like, we are so blessed, and we gotta give a shout out to you know who? Ah ha ha. Could ha. I give a shout out to somebody we both love? Who, baby? I wanna give a shout out to uh, BBW Latina J420 vlogs. Uh, I want to give a shout out to her because she's like absolutely the, the, the most caliente Christian going on the internet. She really is. She's one of them. And, uh, you know, she just, she blesses us all the time and she prayed for us to get some kind of product to bring us down. You can't even see my hat. To get some kind of product to bring us down. Now explain to me what that is. She prayed for them to get some kind of product to bring them down. Drugs, Rev? Is that what you're talking about? I like just drugs. She blesses us all the time, and she prayed for us to get some kind of product to bring us down. You can't even see my hat. I like you said, you want to be the Reverend Dude. What the fuck is the point if they can't even fucking see my face? Well, you were leaning back, and that's why I it's was stupid. I'm trying. I look better as a fucking uh, what do you call a warlock wizard type. Anyway. You can look like a warlock so to I'll, me, baby. I'll I'll be the warlock type for you, but I called myself a Christian witch, and then people took it seriously, like some kind of weirdness. Just like they said that Jared Leto was creating an actual cult. That he had his own island and he was having just women go there to be Here like we go. or whatever. And and they were thought he was serious and it's ridiculous. It's just, he's say it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's trolling. Oh God. Absolutely. Jared Leto oh. trolls people and then he makes money on that and he has people come and hang out. Would you love to go to Jared Leto's island and hang out with him? That would be cool, I think, because he's a cool guy, it seems. That would be an interesting experience. I think so, yeah. Because uh, I like his acting, I like his music, you know? I couldn't be around him. Would you let me fight him? Would you let me fight him? Like, we would actually fight, I'd fight him, to see. He'd fight Jared Leto. Oh my Leto. god, he'd kill you. Well, excuse me, you don't fucking know that. Baby. You don't know that. Baby. He's probably been trained by the best of fighters. Well, he's he's, he's been trained I, by the best of fighters. Look, you don't uh, you don't have a clue what I know. Like I, I can't either on my mirrors. Well, I never I can't showed either. you what I knew, but if I ever had to, it wouldn't have been good. So I'm glad I never showed you. There's been a couple times I felt my life was threatened, sure. You know? <laughs> but I I never I never went there cuz you're a woman. There was times he huh? thought his life was threatened. Yeah. Huh? You're strong, huh? too. You're strong. But I never went there. You don't know how I can fight. Like, why are you telling me that you think Jared Leto could kick my fucking ass? You don't know that. You don't have a fucking clue. If wow. He could kick my ass. Wow. Okay, then go fight Jared Leto and find out That'd what happens. I would do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. He'd be like he. Because he's a cool guy. He'd be like, yeah, let's do it. 
You yeah, know. sure he would, Rev. Violence, Keep telling yourself that. Answer. It's a man's sport. I don't want him to break your pretty face like they did to Jared and frickin' I'll wrestle in Fight Club. A, yeah, I'll wrestle a ladybug. Baby, I don't want him to wreck your face like they did to him in Fight Club. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> You're supposed to gas up your man. No, she doesn't have to, but it's like she doesn't know that Jared Leto would beat my ass. And she's like, oh, he'd kick your ass. You don't fucking know that. Baby, I love you. I love you too. I don't want to see you hurt. I don't want You're to see assuming you hurt. he hurt me. Like, that's fucking insulting to me. You, you don't be, even know that. Like, he's Ledger. You don't fucking know how I'd fight him. And then I would. But then I like, would get on that. top of you and kiss all the boo boos. And it'd be like really cute. Yeah, that's nice. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. He's just trying to protect your face. Maybe it's Jared Leto's face that needs the protecting because I'd kick his fucking ass. Will you, you stop you talking about know. this stuff? You people don't know. I don't like violence. Come on, Jason. This is weird. Why are you talking about freaking someone's blood? Because it's just a man thing. And, and we go to the island. It started off with going to his island because I think it's interesting. What kind a of weird thought loop would happen. A thought loop. I'm just having a fucking fun conversation. Uh. Yeah, you can film it, Jason. So definitely. Right? It is weird. <laughs> He's just high out of his mind. I love you, baby. You don't fucking know that. Keep sucking on that candy cane, Shanny. She is sucking on that candy cane. You're manly. You're manly. You so kick Jared Leader's butt. That isn't what I was asking for at all. And you know, you're a naughty, naughty, naughty boy. What I would be ready for is to see punch for punch. Ooh. Who could punch faster and further? Oh my god, it's so dumb at this point, to folks. You see, it's stupid. We get one of those, uh, the PSI, you know, measures, right, folks? With the punch PSI. The last time I did that, it was like a 200. A 200. It really hurt the machine. They're like, dude, you're probably too old to play this now. I'm like, you're right. <laughs> Sorry. What? He claims that he hurt the machine. That he hurt the machine and that they said, oh, you're too old to play this. Like, because he hurt the machine. He's talking about one of those things that's like a punching bag in like a bar or a arcade. Do you know what I'm talking about? The things where you go and punch punch it as hard as you can, and it scores how hard you punched it. That's what he's talking about, <laughs> right? It goes to nine hundred and ninety nine exactly. He hit it and got a two hundred, and he thinks that he's breaking the machine. This fucking idiot. The last time I did that, it was like a two hundred. It really hurt the machine. They're like, dude, you're probably too old to play this now. I'm like, you're right. <laughs> Sorry. Look at her. Look at her in this candy cane. And with that, we have the lovely Shanty for Christ here, looking amazing, and she's gonna play Chrono Trigger, right? Yeah. That's cool, we should do it. We're starting in the middle of the game, by the way. Yeah, well, I mean, you've been doing awesome, like. Yeah. Let's say you started watching the Chrono Trigger like playthrough and you just, it was just too far to get through all the way. This is kind of the live stream that you'll see where you kind of see the middle of the game so you kind of figure out what kind of game it is. You can buy this on, you know, pretty much the PlayStation, I think. It. You can. You can buy it on. You can buy it on Steam, 
We have this on Steam Play. We also have it on our beautiful, should I show them, uh, the beautiful SNES EverDrive. Oh, yeah, we also have that. Should I show that to them? Yeah, go ahead, baby. Because this is an item that if you have some money, you know, like we used to, <laughs> you should pick one of these up because it's really cool. And I'll show you all the ins and outs. I'm just saying. Next time, at, this is a treat on Shanny's stream. That's like something. Guys, I'm going to go grab something to drink really quick, and I'm just going to let this play for a minute, okay? I'll be right back. To look forward to or whatever, folks, right? I'll show you the other EverDrives we have because they're really cool. But this is a Nintendo, a Super Nintendo EverDrive. It's called SD, which stands for, of course, uh, 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 disc. <laughs> the SD cards. <laughs> What's an SD? What's S stand for? Standard disc? I don't fucking know. SD to SNES and I'll show you why because you want to know oh my god Rev but how do they get all the NS and how do you get excuse me Reverend how, <coughs> how do you get all of the SNES games on just a cartridge and how did how exactly Reverend individual uh, Hicks man how the heck do you get every game ever made on one cartridge like that well I'll show you how Oh my god, there's something in the top of this, isn't there? Yeah, you see that? Oh, th that's actually a mini SD card. Oh my god, so that's what they did. They took an SNES cartridge, and then they said to themselves, we're gonna get really nuts, folks, and we're gonna, we're gonna put, we're gonna put a friggin' SD card chip reader in an SNES cartridge, and then boom, you get the EverDrive. And there's every SNES game ever made on here, plus hacks, plus fan games, plus, which is called a homebrew, plus, 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 plus. It's like in Mario when you get the, when you get the mushroom, it goes da da la 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 and you power it up. You get yourself one of these, it's an SNES, fuck, it's an SNES. EverDrive. You have to look into it, but it costs a lot of money if you're going to get it with the SD card. They're going to say sell it. Uh, every place I go now, they no longer sell... <laughs> you okay, dear? Yeah. Sorry. But it's amazing, okay? That little SD card goes right in the top of this bitch. It's insane, see? See? And then you got a you got a USB uh, uh, plug there too, or that might be mini S mini HDMI out, but I don't think so. It looks like a PS4 thing, right? And, and then you got a reset button in there, but it's got the cartridge. It's the, it, that's the cartridge, right, for an SNES. Man. EverDrive, you get one. It, they're expensive though. With the, if you can find the SD card, which is probably going to be close to four hundred dollars for that, but it's worth it if you love old shit. <laughs> and they're rock on your next city yet. You're playing it yet? I'm going you have to. Have to have that window up. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, baby. I did it! Oh my god, this is happy times. Oh my god. See, this is an amazing stream, and people will like playing and I on a get job. Okay. See what happened? And I'm back. I don't need to listen to that. I'm to get some coffee more. up in this biatch. Makeup. You look amazing. She looks amazing, guys. Alright. So we're in the middle of Lavos. There's this dude, Mew, and he's like from Massa, there's Massa, his twin, and then there's Moon, him, you know, Massa Moon, the sword. Oh, yeah. That thing. That's, that's who that little guy is. Right? Yeah. Okay, so, the orange, the orange hair oh, guy, yeah. that's Chrono. And then the frog looking dude, that's Frog. And then the girl with the big purple titties, she's Ayla. 
and we're trying to save the world from this giant, like, Lavos, like, comet, like, thing that will destroy and rip apart all time. And, um, we're going through time. It's all like this, this game is like timey-wimey. We've gone to the prehistoric era. We've gone to this, like, magical era. Like, that was like 12,000 BC. Like, before caveman and shit. During, like, the, the you know, the uh, Ice Age. Yeah, the that, that's kind of interesting. There's the prehistoric era. Yes. There's the Mesozoic. Middle Ages. The, Mesozoic. Yeah, Mesozoic. There's the Middle Ages, and then there's the year 1999. There's the end of time. Amazing. And it's on that Everdrive. My audio is bad. We'll see if that works. Is that better? Look Is at that Rev. better? Look at him. Not an echo. Still fuzzy. Maybe. Ah. Oh. Fuzzy, fuzzy was a bear. Look at Rev. Tell me that that is not, he is not high out of his fucking mind. Oh, awesome, Perpetual. I'm glad that you like it. That Why are we fuzzy? It's probably overmodulated a bit. You turn down the mic. How about there? Is that better? Hopefully that's better. Um, Mike, this is from Christmas of last year. Christmas Eve. Is that better? I just want you guys happy. I don't want you guys mad at me. Hi, Pyro. I know. I'm They're mad. both high out of their fucking mind, right. dude. <laughs> like this is this is shy. It's a little better. Man, you know. All right. Well, this is what you're gonna get. It's a mess, like my life and my soul. But he's trying to fix it. Because he's a good man, but he's angry sometimes. Because he's bipolar. You think? See, I'm not diagnosed that yet, but yeah, do you think so? Yeah. I, I've seen it even now. Like, it's so bad now that I think even I can see the nature of it. Like, but that's good that you can. Yeah, this is <clears throat> trying to be cutesy. Oh, I'm cute, Shanny. Yeah, oh, guys. Oh. Mm -hmm. Get the fuck out of here, Shanny. Oh my god, you should look up Wet Dad John Marston. Bipolar Dad. <laughs> Bipolar Dad. That's life for me. You've seen that, but see, the bad people have taken that and said I'm abusive. No. If you, uh -huh. if you understand it, it's literally John Marston. So, <clears throat> this is kind of boring after this part. Do you guys want to keep watching this, or would you rather go back and finish watching Rev's latest, the latest live stream? And then someone else also mentioned um, showing their Christmas Walmart haul from uh, years ago when they had money. So we're down to, we can watch that as well if you guys want. We can watch whatever you guys want, really, actually. So just let me know dad and what you guys are feeling. And, 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 and New and old Christmas. Like, hey, Daddy, let's go fishing. He's like, the latest, oh, Rev's latest. And then the next second, he's like, All right, we'll go back to that for a minute, and then we'll do the Christmas haul right after that. How about that? Get the hell away. We can do both. We'll do some, the rest of Rev's Twitch bullshit that he did today, and then we'll, um, we'll watch the Christmas haul, too. Afterwards. Yeah, Gracie's mom. We it's it's ridiculous. She thinks she has cancer because she has a rash. <clears throat> you 
y'all won't want to watch this for that long either, because he just stares at the fucking screen like a retard. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Like a loser. He gets me mad, I start saying mean things. Aw, oh, thank you, Mr. Buzzkilling. Alright, guys, this phone is, like, ridiculous. I don't even know. And then it end this one ends and then the next one starts. So hold on. Let me pull the next one up. There you go. Oh, God. He's so pathetic. Like, what is this? Did y'all see them on Wednesday when they were on? Because they were so happy-go-lucky and shit. She was all kinds of fucking... Oh, and acting like just such a, like a big shot laughing, joking. Now all of a sudden, literally a day and a half later, she's freaking dying. Like, actually dying. Sorry about that. Um, like, the, the phone kind of like glitched out and I didn't know what was going on. So I just hit end. Sorry about that. Uh, but I'm going to try and do a full hour. I'm going to do my best to do that. Definitely withdraw, I think. <clears throat> Look at him. Just look at him. I mean, you don't get more pathetic than this. You really don't. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Thank you. Nerdy and spicy, thank you. Yeah, I do my best to, to ignore the negativity, I really do. Ch chat rooms, to me, are really not good for my mental health at all. And I, I, I really don't do them anymore for that reason. But, uh... Here I am. <laughs> Like, a lot of the time, I'm probably going to be watching this because I'm really not doing well. Do you understand what I mean? No. I don't understand what you mean. Why are you on here, then? Like, why are you on here? Yeah, I really do need to get my mental health better. That's, that's correct. My God, it's just so fucking pathetic. Beyond pathetic. I'm doing my best, nerdy. Yeah, thank you for that. I appreciate that.
I'm doing my best. If this is your best, wow, I hate to see your worst. Because cause I watched my mom die of cancer. See, this well. is where he gets manipulative as fuck. Bringing up his mom dying of cancer 10 years ago. I'm trying to find a good way to answer that, uh, Dakini. And, uh... I don't think I can answer that question. When there's no one else to be here, that's it. <clears throat> I got to do what I got to do. That's that's it. Yeah, I was doing outpatient um and it's just hard to get to these places. And then you try you try making appointments, and um, they schedule them out months ahead, and sometimes you miss it. And, and sometimes you miss it. So you have an appointment made, right? Months in advance, knowing that you had to wait months. And then when the appointment comes, you miss it? You miss it? Are you fucking kidding me? And that is, guess what, Rev? That's your fucking fault. But you want us to feel bad for you for that? Because you couldn't be bothered to show up to the fucking appointment? Get the fuck out of here. It's just a really bad situation, you know? Like, I've been without my meds for a long time now. <laughs> it's like whatever. It's your fault. Whatever. If you're not showing up to the appointment, you just, you it's gotta your fault. Deal. If you don't deal, then what do you do? That that's it. You just gotta figure out a way to deal with it. If it's rocking back and forth and chewing your fingernails and all that's that that's what you're dealing with. That's not what you're doing. That's yeah, it. they're at the uncle's house right now, Izzy. They're at the uncle's house. They don't have a job, so they don't have to worry about that. They don't have to pay rent or bills. All they would have to do is go to the fucking doctor. That's the one thing they would have to do, and they can't even do that. Doctors give meds on Zoom. They might not give controlled substances, but you can get telemedicine. They will prescribe you medication. Might not be controlled medication, controlled substances, but he doesn't need that anyway. These two don't need shit like that. They're clearly drug addicts. <clears throat> Hi, IDK. How are you doing? That's Hi, fine. Amanda. And I don't feel bad for them either. Tangled Bliss and Red Feather. I because really you're, don't. You're right, Dakini. Like, my mental health needs to be taken care of, but it's it's whatever, man. It's your responsibility. You know what I mean? If your mental health needs to be taken care of, Rev, that is your responsibility. You go and you show up to the appointments when you have an appointment made. And then for the rest of the time, it's on you. There are things that you do every day, day in, day out, to take care of your mental health. It's nobody else's responsibility but yours. You did, Nick? Uh, Nick? Yeah. There. Trust me. There's, there's ways, you know what I mean, to get um, <clears throat> what you need. But like I said, with him, I mean, I would think that most doctors, if he's claiming that he suffers from depression or whatever, um, then he's probably going to get put on an SSRI. Or if what he says is true and he hears voices and shit sometimes or whatever, he probably needs to be on an antipsychotic. And both of those can be prescribed without you being in person. So you could get those through telemedicine. Um now, if he if they decided that he was going to need some kind of anti-anxiety like a benzodiazepine, that might be different. But I would I would argue that he doesn't need that anyway. So 
It's your responsibility, you Rev. You You're a grown it. adult. Yeah, man with a porpoise, probably. Yeah, he did have an overprotective mother. She babied him and she coddled him. He's never had to work a job a day in his life. So that's part of his problem for sure. Right, Red Feather. Why doesn't he have a primary care physician? Like, what's the excuse for that? Because they make those appointments. You can get those pretty easily. Now, getting in to see a psychiatrist, an, a full-on psychiatrist might be a little bit harder. But you could have a primary care physician that, that prescribed your medications. And then you could just have a therapist that you talk to, which you can definitely do online or over the phone. You can talk to therapy. So... I just, I have no sympathy for this guy because I'm in the same system. I know how it works. You know what I mean? And I know that there is help out there. You just have to be smart about it. You have to take advantage of the opportunities that are given to you. And you have to hold, you have to hold yourself responsible for these things because it's up to you for you to get your, your mental health care. It's up to you. Like you're a grown adult, Rev. Welcome Wednesday. Well, that's the thing, Tracy. I think that he is drug seeking. I think that they have done that. And I think that's why they don't stick with one doctor. You know, they'll make an appointment with a doctor, right? They go to the appointment. Well, then when the, when the doctor <clears throat> doesn't give them exactly what they want and they don't get the kind of meds that they're after, then they don't go to that doctor ever again. And they, oh, they start the process all over again. Oh, I got to find a doctor. Oh, I, uh, you know what I mean? That's the problem. They are drug seeking. And, and I think that most of the doctors by now have caught on to that. Do I think they're after benzos? A hundred percent. I know that they are, Silent Sledge. He's talked about wanting Ativan before. He's actually flat out said that he wants to be on Ativan. And Ativan is a benzodiazepine. So, and I know about these things. I've been, I used to be on benzodiazepines. Like, they don't just give those out like candy. I mean, and especially not nowadays. So, if you're not putting in the work, you're not getting the therapy and things too, they're not going to give you that. And they shouldn't. It's highly addictive. And it's hard as hell to come off of. I can tell you that personal experience hard as hell to come off of yeah this is live for some reason uh it's a glitch or something on twitch that keeps saying reruns i don't know why yeah i know oh my god oh yeah sunshine they could do that and he has done that that's why he can't do that anymore because there's only so many times that you can show up at the ER before they catch on. And they're like, you need an actual primary care physician, you know? That's good, Jess. If you, um, you were on uh, four, two milligram Klonopins daily and I thought I was dying getting off. Yeah, it's bad. I, I like, I can tell you guys when I got off of benzodiazepines a couple years ago. It literally took me almost a year to get to a place where I felt like actually normal again and didn't just feel like a nervous wreck all the time. Like I had the worst panic attacks. Like it was, it was awful. And I, but I finally got through it. And finally now, you know, I don't, I don't suffer from really bad panic attacks all the time anymore. Um, I'm on other medication, not controlled substances, that helped me with it and with my OCD. And so I've been able to stay away from it. Um, and I'm so thankful for that. But it took a long time. Like, it's definitely not something that's easy to do. And that's why, you know, when uh, 
What, babe? That's what I took. What do you mean? Klonopin? Um, yeah, that's what I was prescribed when I was on benzodiazepines was Klonopin. Um, <clears throat> but that's why they're so careful about prescribing them and shit. Because you really, like, it's not a joke. You start taking those, if you become dependent on them, you can't just stop. Like, it can be dangerous to stop. Like you said, you can have a seizure or something. So, it's, you know, it's it's not something that you just, like, only the most severe cases need to be taking it, basically. And I don't think, it, from what I see of Rev, and he puts a lot of their life out there, I don't think that he's a, a case that would that it would constitute it. From what everything he says, it sounds like he just has bouts of mania really badly. And so he probably needs to be on an SSRI or even maybe an antipsychotic. Thank you for the super chat, Pyro. Pyro says, I, I've known about um, a Han for eight years. Always been a PO, P, piece of shit. Um, I think maybe you meant to type something else. But thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, Pyro. My God, I'm so sorry. Oh, Vicky. Silent Sledge, I feel you. I feel you. I have social anxiety too. It's not too bad. Luckily, I don't have to like really. Oh, Shan, got you, Pyro. Um, yeah. Luckily, I don't have to really be forced to deal with that that much. I'm a homebody. I stay at home most of the time. I'm lucky my husband works and I don't have to work um, so that I'm not forced to have to go be out in public like that. It's weird, too, because you would think someone like me, like, you know, I get on here, I'm talking to you guys, I'm live streaming. You would be like, think like, oh, somebody like that, they're not, they don't have social anxiety, but it's way different doing something like this online than it is doing, you know, going and doing something in person. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I can do that stuff. Like, I'm a photographer. I've worked with people. Um, I, I'm not, um, I don't know, what the, but it, I guess the way that I'm trying to explain it is, like, what you see doesn't always show, you know, like, I'm able to pull it off. That doesn't mean, though, that I'm not feeling that way inside. It's weird. But anyway, enough about me. Let's get back to it. Yeah, him. I lost my mom in 2012. It's rough. It's it's really rough. I'm sorry. Yeah, see Silent Sledge. And the thing is, they could do that. They could work from home. See, it's all Izzy does that too. A lot of you guys work from home. And it's that's why I don't have a lot of sympathy for them. Because they don't even try. They don't even do the things that they, they could do. And I mean, it might be something where they don't make a lot of money at first and, uh, and they don't have a lot of hours, but they're doing something. You know what I mean? They're trying. They're putting forth some effort. If they did stuff like that, hell, I would be willing to donate to them and help them. If they would help themselves and actually make a change, but they're unwilling to do that. It's ridiculous. They won't even try. They literally feel like they are entitled to our money. That all of us should have to go bust our asses. We should have to work for every dime that we get. And then we should just come donate it to them because what? Because they don't want to work from home? Because that's the only excuse. I mean, I get, I believe, okay, I 100% believe Shani does suffer from pain. I think she is overweight. I think that it has caused her to have some pretty severe health problems. So I get that it might be hard for her to work a job where she's standing on her feet all day. I get that. But there are jobs where you don't stand on your feet, where you sit. Why won't she try to do that? Well, because she doesn't want to. Because she feels that she's entitled to our money, to everybody else's money. And it's just like, life doesn't work like that, dude. They need a wake-up call. And I wish that the uncle would boot, give them the boot. Because right now they're able to, to lean on that. And they still can't even make it. When they don't even have rent or anything like that to pay, they still can't. They get food stamps. They still can't make I mean, they get more help than most of us would ever hope and pray to get. And they still cannot make that work. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Shannon. 
So he just gets on here and does this. I do. I know. It's hard. It's very hard. I still feel it every day. You know, I miss my mom horribly. His mom's been dead for 10 years. I'm not trying to be insensitive, but come on, bro. Come on. What's who doing right now? Channy? She's just laying down. Hi, C. Jameson. Thank you, Alice. That's true, Silent Sledge. He probably does. And on top of that, Rev gave him this house. That's how the uncle has the house that they're staying in right now. Because Rev gave it to him. For a dollar. Just like he gave G-Man the other house for a dollar. Back when they had money, they thought, I guess, that they could, he, he thought that was a good idea to do. So I think that the uncle feels bad for him because he doesn't have his parents. And then on top of that, he probably feels obligated because this house, I mean, he, he basically, he had it given to him. So he's trying to help him out as much as he can. But that doesn't mean he has to feel sorry for Shani, and I don't think the uncle has a lot of sympathy for her, and I don't blame him. Yeah, it it, it really doesn't matter if you had a bad relationship with your mother. It's 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 always going to be a very special relationship. That's true. Yeah, Red Feather. He had two. He had two houses, seven hundred grand. And now, a few few years later, literally does not have a pot to piss in. That's how fucking dumb the decisions that he's made in life have been. If he would have kept either one of those houses, they would be they'd be fine. They would have a, at least they would have a place to stay, you know, that they they could depend on. But you know, that's what I mean. I think the uncle helps because of that reason. You know, but at some point, even then, though, even let's just say even if the uncle gave Rev the house back and they didn't have to worry about paying rent or anything, they owned the home. As a homeowner, you still have things that you have to like pay for and responsibilities. And if something breaks or whatever, you got to pay for that. You got to either have homeowner's insurance or you got to pay out of pocket. Like not working is not really going to be an option either because you're going to have you know um electricity bills water bills things like that so like you still have responsibilities even if he had it like he just he doesn't live in reality you guys like i i don't know how it's how, how it was to explain it he like literally just does not live in reality i don't want short hair i want my long hair back <laughs> yeah taxes i think that's why he did it Personally, I think that's why he gave up the houses and gave G-Man the house for a dollar and the uncle this one for a dollar. Because I think at the time, he probably would have had to pay taxes on it and didn't want to be bothered with that. Because he had money at the time. They had they were living somewhere else. So out of sight, out of mind, he would have rather gave it, give the houses to someone else than have to pay the taxes. So that's my theory as well. But thanks for the compliments. Hmm. Oh, Tangled Bliss. Younger, huh? They've probably already started on that. Maybe. You know they're not cleaning up after themselves. Well, I I mean, the best thing that can happen is that we get get Shani into medical care that's consistent and she can figure out what's going on. I mean, that's it. Yeah, she's probably going to go to the ER tomorrow. She's probably going to go to the ER tomorrow. 
So you plan to go to the ER. That's not an emergency then, Rev. We'll see what they do, you know. Yeah, they do. We know about that, nerdy. Let's see what's up, Zip Bonkers. Uh, I got like, I got the only magic cards I got left are right beside me here. I got like four decks left, and that's it. So, Shanny's next to me. Yeah, it is, Dakini. <laughs> well, that's one deck. That's a deck. The, I've had this box since I since oh my god, I was fifteen. It's hilarious. Why? What's hilarious about it? I don't find that hilarious at all. Uh, I lost my glasses. Yeah, they're, I just lost them. I need to get new ones. That's cool. Yeah, I used to have a big bin of cards, too. <laughs> That's in the past. Oh, did you? That's funny. Okay. That's that is funny. Yeah, there were a couple people that were looking to buy them, but it's like the they're gone. Just like uh, I just four decks. I got four decks left. That's it. Yeah, I'm really I I'm not good, and I I don't know. It, it's like I gotta be on here though. Yeah, and Medicaid would pay f to get them to their appointments, too, if they had such a problem with that, Sabella. So, they just, they're full of shit. Well, that's the thing. I don't, <laughs> I don't so much want to be talking right now. Do you get what I mean? So, it's like talk about something that makes you happy. It's like. I get that concept. Did you guys see the um, stream the other day of them on Wednesday and how they were acting? Like, look at this. Let me show you guys. Just watch how different the vibes were on Wednesday and tell me this isn't drugs. Okay? You look close to me. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing you naked. Well, I mean, I, I was just going to say, I'll do it for you. You yeah. want to flash me? All yeah. right. Yes, Kane. Woo! Yes, do the helicopter, baby. I can do it, see? <laughs> Whatever. I can do that. That means you don't have a small dick. I'm sorry. If you can helicopter. <laughs> so whatever, man. Does she look like she's dying of cancer to you? Whatever. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Whatever, man. <clears throat> Boom chicka wow wow. <laughs> I 
I love when they do the helicopter. It's fun, isn't it? <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! We're talking about penis helicopters. There you go, my mate audience. <laughs> it always goes back to the penis on Twitch. Always. <laughs> well, unless it's an Amaranth stream, and then you're thinking about, yeah. Now Carrie Shanny and spin her like a helicopter. I don't think that's possible. I don't think he has the strength. I wish I did. Aw, that's okay. I wish I were like the firefighter dude that you dated. Or, what was he, a contractor? Or He was a construction worker. Construction worker, worker that's it. Ugh, I don't want to think about that. Yeah, but you said he was able to do that. That's amazing. Mm. Mm. He's a strong motherfucker. Mm. I dumped him. Anyway. You gotta do what you gotta do. <gasps> no, I'm not telling you a construction worker story. Ah. There's no good ones, right, honey? No. Not really. Not really. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> Damn, someone said beta guys like Jason are always better than the alpha ones, in my opinion. Bullshit. Beta. I don't think I, you're beta. I don't, well, I, look. I don't think I'm even clear on what a beta male is. Really? Yeah, I it's don't, you. I'm not clear on what that means. If it means that the husband is willing to let his wife live her own life and have, and, and do her own <laughs> shit, yeah, I'm beta. You're live beta? her own life. How does she live her own life? She can't even fucking go to the store without you. She can't even wipe her fucking ass. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Yeah. If that's what beta is. Now an alpha male goes, no, we're doing this in life. This is how we're living the life and I'm saying it. If I'm not that. So no. that I'm not an You're alpha. A bitch. That's fine with me. I like being a nice guy. You're Actually, a bitch. That's what you are, Rev. That's, that's what I like bitch. being. I like being a nice guy. See, I don't look at guys like that beta and alpha and whatever yeah, they I fucking think it's do. Stupid. I, I do too. I do. I like a man who's willing to work. I don't look at people work. like that. What's beta? What's alpha? Blah, I don't know about y'all. But I like yeah, a man that's willing to provide yeah. for his family. I just family. want to be a nice guy. Yeah. That's my goal. Is to be a nice guy. But sometimes my mental illness gets in the way of that. Thank you, Nicole. We have a Gavin. Uh-huh. A Gavin baby. Yeah, he's a boy. Wait. Gavin's. Hold on. He Let had his foot. He had good foot. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to be powerful. Well, guess we all. Do I lick Rev's ass? Nah. No. Oh, yeah, y'all got to sure. hear this part. <laughs> That's that. That gets me... <laughs> Okay, that was so scary. Listen yeah, to this, you guys. Get ready. Get ready for this, okay? Get your puke bags ready. Boy. <laughs> what a boy! You never go ass to mouth. Mm. I love it. <laughs> That's that. That gets me. That that usually oh, gets, okay. yeah. gets me. Yeah. PG, baby. PG? Why? I don't know. You could say what you want on Twitch pretty much. Well, no racial slurs or well, ethnic slurs. Did or... I say anything no. like that? No. I'm saying that that's what gets me going. Do I lick Rev's ass? Nah. No. And I wouldn't want that. <laughs> I wouldn't want ass play. <laughs> No, thanks. I didn't ask for it. No, you get it, though, and you like it. I know. He was just like, we were cuddling. He was on my butt and just started doing it. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, doesn't she seem like she's dying of cancer, you guys? It was non-consenting, asked him out, because you didn't consent. I just went down there. <laughs> 
I was cool with it. Okay. <laughs> I think the moans said you liked it, you know. The moans did. said you <laughs> liked it. Or I did. <laughs> there you go. That's it. I liked it a lot. That's a good deal. A lot. Oh, my head hurts. To make yourself powerful, you must place yourself at the center of things. Okay. I don't want to be powerful. Narcissistic. Yeah, I don't want to be powerful. I just want to be Shannon. And Gavin wants to Like, be all Gavin. these weirdos are, like, they act like they're all in competition with me. And I'm just like, dude, I'm not in competition with you. I don't give a fuck about competition. Right. You're non-competitive. No, I'm such a non-competitive person. Like, I don't give a fuck if someone's better than me or not. No, me like, either. I, yeah. It's like, okay, good for you. Sure, Shanny. We Play a game that. of wits with me. Let's see who wins. Wits? <laughs> the game of wits, yes. Bitch. Oh, okay. way I'm way more wittier than most people. Are you? Uh, oh, my God. Quick Witty wit. my ass. You are yeah, not I witty, did consent Shannon. to it. Trust me. I have no problem with him going all like, mm. <laughs> Good. I was pretty sure he wanted it. I didn't care. It's like, oh. Well, hello there. Yeah. You like sex, so. Did I like it? Of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? You do like that. I do. You're like, I'm not really into butt stuff. And then I, I got down there. You're like, wow, I guess I am. Yeah, he just knows what to do, man. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. He's taken. He just knows what to do. Thank you. I, I'm just got. I'll, I'll get out of this. <laughs> Ow. This couch sucks. Mm -hmm. It's old, man. Is what it is. I know. At least you got a place to put your butt, you know. You can have him keep him. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants that. I've learned too much. Oh my God, really? I've learned too much. Not, not nearly enough. <laughs> oh my God, Jason, you, you pimp. <laughs> He's like, not nearly enough, ladies. Right, Pyro? I got all the skills, ladies. Mm. Bitch, he ain't got no <laughs> skills. Well, I cared. I didn't want to be the just slam, slam it and leave it, that type of shit. Type Who of knew a virgin would be my best lay? <laughs> hey. Hey. I cared. If you cared, you'd get a job. I was that girl that enjoyed deflowering men. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I saw a virgin, I'm like, ooh. Fresh meat. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Cabin's under the table. What a boy. <laughs> oh my God, Ted. He's like, want to show the missus you really care? Don't get flowers or chocolate. Tum that leather donut after a bike ride. That's right. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Did you hear what she just said? Don't get chocolate or flowers. Tongue that leather donut after a bike ride. What <laughs> the fuck? After a bike ride. Oh my god. <laughs> He's right though. That's so fucking funny. How he word shit, man. That's yeah. great. I'm sorry, but no. That doesn't do anything for me. 
Nothing. No, thank you. And Jason, he's like, that's right. That's right. <laughs> and her laugh. <laughs> you guys are nuts. That is the <laughs> fucking. I don't know what about you guys, but I don't find that laugh uh, sexy. Like, she's literally like, <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, some, what the fuck? some women don't know, okay? Because okay. most guys don't do that shit. Okay. Just saying. Or they do it for like two seconds and then stop. Like, you're good, right? Yeah, I'm good, baby. Thanks. Two seconds. I know. You, you ladies know what I'm talking about. It's fucking annoying. It's like, dude, I put all this work into you and you can't put any work into me? What's up with that shit? Okay, honey, you want your two and a half minutes of grunting? Here you go, hon. Yeah. How'd it feel? Wonderful? Awesome. Shani, we've all seen the OnlyFans, okay? If you're going to brag about your sex life, but we've seen it all, like, sorry, it's just, we're not buying this bullshit. We've seen what sex with you guys looks like. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll just think about, you know, having an orgasm another time. Thanks, hon. Now I got to clean up myself. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> you go to the bathroom and clean up yourself, and he's already rolling. Silence, led. He won't let me. Chris. I've tried to force him. He will not watch it. He won't do it. <laughs> oh, God. Thrilling sex life we had. Thrilling. Yeah. That two and a half. Minutes of grunting. Woo! Yeah, I gotta trick him into it. <laughs> Hi, Dreadhead. If you have a man like that, run. I know, right? <laughs> I did have a man like that. Notice, uh... notice the key to did. Did. Used to. <laughs> <laughs> now I have a man that's like, hey, isn't, baby. Isn't that so hot? I mean, doesn't that do something for you guys? <laughs> like, Shanny. Did. You sound like a fucking pirate. Used to. <laughs> Yo, ho. Now I have a man Yo that's ho. like, hey, baby. Lip. <laughs> I want some dessert. And I'll be like, oh, you want some ice cream? Nah, baby, you're my dessert. Okay. <laughs> if you haven't seen the OnlyFans, well, if you have not seen the OnlyFans, all I can say to you is, it's gray. It's gray. And I don't think things like that should be gray. Joy. <laughs> but it's gray. <laughs> <laughs> it's dead flesh. No, 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 no. I'm a happy woman in that area. And she claims to uh, squirt Fulfilled. as well. In which we know area, is just piss. Say, Good for him, Puffy Kitten. My husband would never jackhammer me for two minutes and then pee. Zola, where can you see their OnlyFans content? I got a, three words for you. Well, actually four. Twitter. Sexy for Christ. Instead of Shanny for Christ, just go and check out Twitter, Sexy for Christ. Don't say I didn't warn you. Out. You got a good man. You got a good man then. Because I've had a lot of crappy men who's done Oh, it's that gray. It's it is like... definitely gray. <laughs> And she does, uh, she does a little uh, video in the bathtub where she literally holds up a Vagisil bottle. Odor, odor, uh, what is it? Odor control. Vagisil. Proudly waves the bottle, the bottle in front of everything. Like, cannot, you can't make this shit up. I feel like a cum dumpster. Ew. 
God. Wow, thanks, hon. Thanks for nothing. Thanks. <laughs> I ain't doing that again. Oh, silence Ted, pledge. <laughs> you're a gentleman God. and a scholar. Thank you for that on her behalf. I always make sure my woman finishes every single time. Sure exactly. you do. Sure well, you do. Good for you. You should. Yep. Odor control. that just sucks being stuck in a marriage where you're not getting... And think about that. She has to use Vagisil odor control. And Rev is on here bragging about eating her ass. Like, um, no that. thank you. I'm trying, Shannon. How? Sorry, I'm bitching and complaining. I apologize. Why are you talking about your past partners? To all the simpleton men out there, a woman wants passion, okay? Just, if anything, listen to Cardi B's WAP, okay? What? If your woman does not have that macaroni and cheese fucking sound, you ain't doing it right. If your woman doesn't have that macaroni and cheese sound, you're not doing it right. Shanny. Shanny. It's called a yeast infection and you need to get it taken care of. Probably why she said yes when I showered her arena along with my dog and cooking skills. See? See, it works. <laughs> the phone receiver. Yeah. Destroyed. <laughs> Destroyed. Yeah. I remember you were on the, you used to be on the phone with me and you used to like whisper, oh, that was so hot. Yeah, you like that. What? Yeah, you back when you were cheating on Chris. Suction. That's right. She just said, I remember when you were on the phone with me. Do you know when she was on the phone with him? It was when she was still married to Chris. Yeah, her and Rev were having phone sex when she was still married to someone else. Hey, Ted knows. Yeah, he knows. He knows. He knows. This is so I want my Gavins. You want Gavin? I'd love a Gavin. Okay, we don't need to see Gavin. Do y'all want to see, um, before I wrap this, this stream up, do y'all want to see her talk shit about me? If you guys didn't see that the other night, it's kind of um, funny, to say the very least. Po purposely poke you to get a reaction. They're the most reactive and person um, because you're reacting to people being assholes to you. And yes, like, Audie Bond, look how horrible he too. is. And it's like, dude, when you constantly poke, poke, poke at someone and they finally blast you off and say, fuck you, assholes, and it's worse than what you would say, what do you fucking expect? Do you, like... Like, do, do you do ex expect people to just constantly be poked and, and, and them not saying anything that you're a jackass over it? No, eventually people will get sick of you and call you a fucking jackass. Mm -hmm. Or worse, for poking at them. But they act like people are such horrible people because they fucking say fuck you once in a while. When the fact is, they're the most reactive and silly about the whole situation. Because if you say one thing regarding that, one thing toward them, they they start yelling and screaming and acting like you put them on some kind of gladiator fucking lineup. That's awful. So, like... I get where he's coming from, and if he drinks, 
the pain away, there's nothing you can do about it, you know? That's, that's his decision when he wants to decide to stop drinking or not. You know, I can only be a mouthpiece out there and say that, you know, these... Oh, yeah, Ellen. Oh, yeah, I'll play that. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, though, so don't worry. <laughs> People, they, they'll bully you to the point where We've you got do more. want to drink and you do want to take drugs and, and you do want to just try to get out of the reality that you feel so hated and ostracized. So I get it. Totally. And the sick thing is these people po purposely poke you to get a reaction that is negative. Just so they can go and say that you're evil. Like, the real monster is the people poking the person who just wants to do their own thing. Let's just be honest. The real monsters are the people wanting... Wait, what? Give our man some info. What info? Did I miss something? Hold up. Let me know what info you're talking about. The react reaction. Because most of all, these people who... This isn't live. This is from two days ago. This is from Wednesday night. Who, ...who poke are fucking pussies anyway. They can't take anything their way without crying to mommy. And telling the whole world, look what they said to me. Like, I. I <laughs> Imagine if I did that. Every single negative comment I get, I make a video like a big fucking pussy and, and, and just be like, I can't believe they said that to me. I mean, I only told them they were fat and lazy and needed to get a job and horrible people and they don't deserve any happiness. And then they call me an asshole? How dare they? They're horrible. See, they're horrible. <laughs> yeah, Red Feather, we're going to watch that the Christmas haul after this. She's not live right now, guys. I'm a horrible person because I- What info do you, um, need to, um, catfish her? I don't know if I have any inf info that would help, but hey, if I, I do, I'll so share it. I told someone to fuck off after being bullied by them, okay? Well, I'll take being a horrible person. <laughs> I'll take it. Because telling that person who was an asshole and you just finally said fuck off, it, it was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> but, then, but then you grow and realize that you can pick and choose your battles and you don't have to respond to every single fucking asshole out there. Because you learned how to get confidence in this business. You learn how to realize that their opinions does not mean that's who you truly are. And most of the things they say about you is bullshit anyway. And you should acknowledge the fact that you know who you truly are. So why even fucking fuck with these idiots who just want to fucking lie about True. Their, their... That's a good point, Lamort. If you guys want to get her, you probably shouldn't talk about it in my chat. Because as you'll see in just a second, she watches. She does her watch life. Them, so I mean, don't they're give the yourself ones away. paying attention to you. You're not paying attention to them. They're coming to you to say these horrible, horrendous things. You ain't going to them and saying it. So you know what? You should give yourself a slap on the back and be like, "I did a good job. I actually have integrity." These people have shit. Imagine living in their shoes, where they feel like they have to. The only way how they can feel validated in life is to poke people and treat people like shit. Imagine how it feels to be them. Imagine. That must be such a lonely, insecure place that these people have to... Aw, Trina, people are I'm in. so glad. Such a lonely, insecure place. Thank you for being here, Trina. We love you. That you think your only validation is to make fun of someone. Wow. That's just fucking sad. That's just straight up fucking sad. Straight up, you know, 
Like, I got enough confidence in myself to know that I'm nothing like what these people have to say I am. Oh, yeah, you I are. I know it. Oh, yeah, you are. We don't have to make up shit. You put all your shit out there, Shani. That's how yeah. everybody knows who you are. And what a piece of say shit you are. Say hi to the snipers. Oh, here What's we go. Up, motherfucker? Here we go. This is where she starts talking shit about me. So, you'll enjoy this, guys. Yeah. Say hi to the snipers. What's up, motherfuckers? You enjoying stealing my content so you can get validation over who you are? Because you enjoy the attention I bring to you? Yeah, Shanny. I'm sorry. I'm not that insecure. I can do things on my own. I don't need you guys. I can do it on my own. You're not insecure, Shani? Then why do you have it where people can't even say my name in your chat? You literally have my name blocked. But you're not insecure. Oh. It don't matter. <laughs> when is another channel not playing my live? They have nothing better to do with their lives. You know, I, 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 I have... I actually I have an excuse right now not to be on live, you know, because I don't have any family to go to for Thanksgiving. I'm not having a Thanksgiving. But these 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 people that are snaping, they have families. They Bitch, you have a family. Don't fool yourself. You have family. They just don't want anything to do with you. Because you're a horrible person. You've got family. You've got a kid. You've got two kids that you can't see because you chose your boyfriend who physically assaulted them over spending time with your kids. They have kids they, they're they supposed to be, you know, taken care of. But they're more focused that I'm live because they weren't getting the attention they needed. That's true. That's true. Maybe the quiet. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure who's sniping me right now. Why don't you take care of your children? You like to say that shit about me all the fucking time. I know you have a fucking child. So why aren't you taking care of your child during this holiday season? It's, it's 8 o'clock. Because my child is 17 years old. And doesn't want to hang out with me. <laughs> Trust me, bitch. If he wanted to hang out with me, I would be hanging out with him every five fucking seconds. But he's a grown-up, pretty much. So he does his own thing. He doesn't watch Charlie Brown Christmas show with me. He doesn't do any of that. You've got two kids. What's your excuse for not being with them? Because you're, you're acting like, you know, somebody's done this to you. No, you did this. That's why you don't have your kids. Because of the choices you made, Shani. PM. Shouldn't you be watching Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving with your child? Nah, instead you're sniping for the attention and the lulls. Ooh. <laughs> for the attention. I'm done. I'm done. I don't fucking focus on them. I don't fucking care. You seem to care. You don't focus on me, you don't care, but you literally have my name blocked where people cannot even write my name, type my name in your chat. But you're above all of it, right? They're no talent idiots at the end of the day. <laughs> don't fool yourself, Shani. What you're doing right here is not a motherfucking talent. Like, this is not talent. You aren't doing anything special. You turn on a camera and put your fat ass in front of it and talk about bullshit for fucking hours at a time and play video games that are boring as fuck. That's not talent. It doesn't matter, Ted. You don't have to tell me what they're doing. I don't care. Yeah, the people in her, the people in her chat were gassing her up so hardcore. Somebody tried to tell her that um that I was getting super chats that I got five hundred dollars in super chats. Like 
don't get me wrong. I've gotten some super chats and thank you to anybody who's done that. I don't need you to though. I don't expect you to. That's not what I'm here for. But thank you when you do. But $500? No. <laughs> no. I did not get $500 super chat. So her, her, the people are just trying that are in her chat are just trying to trigger the fuck out of her right now. I'm doing my own thing. Let's not focus on them. That's what. That's why they're doing this, because they need attention. And yeah. I don't need to give them attention. Cause we need attention. Meanwhile, you're the one that's sitting here live streaming yourself. Constantly doing a lot of fucking nothing. Begging for money. They don't value my, uh, my person. Probably so, auntie. I don't know. It's fine by me. <laughs> Fine by me. I don't give a fuck. I'm doing my own thing. And they're not important in my fucking life. <laughs> I can actually make content and people watch. Because you motherfucking snipers are watching. I'm making content and you're still watching. Cause I make the fucking content for your people to fucking watch. Cause they don't really care about you. They just want the fucking drama and people making fun of each other. Cause they're insecure little brats who haven't grown the fuck up. Cause they're in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Anyway, oh wow. <laughs> look at her laughing does this look like someone who is dying of cancer to you guys I just want to I want to know does this look like someone that's dying of cancer because I'm not seeing that <laughs> oh thank you prime mover Here's a fiver. Did you watch Rev today? The word pathetic has a new meaning. Have you seen Shani's breast on Twitter? Yes, my dude. Yes. We watched that earlier. We watched Rev be a pathetic fucking loser. We watched Shani post a, a picture of her, the underneath of her boob, a rash, and tried to say it was cancer. We, we did, unfortunately, we did see that. Unfortunately. Hey, man, they just showing how unethical they are. That's okay. Uh, how unethical we are? I, I, Shani, your boyfriend drop kicked your kid in the head and you chose him over your kids. And you're going to come on here and preach about being ethical and who's ethical and who's not? Get the fuck out of here. I'd rather have the, um... The, the, the gall to do it on my own. Wait, did she post something else on Twitter? I saw the one of her, the picture of her boob. Did she say more than that? Because I, I haven't seen anything other than the boob picture. I don't, I don't, I don't need someone to drive along what I have to say. I'm, I'm, I, I'm actually smart. I can ramble on and on. You know, I, I don't need to watch a video and be like, oh, I have nothing to say on my own. So I have to watch these videos of these other people in order to have something to say. <laughs> anyway. Shani, if you hit your home button on YT, do you see Chantel? Then Shani needs love, huh? No, I'm not on YouTube. I'm blocked on Twitter, too. Don't worry. <laughs> hey. Someone would rather pay attention to me than their children on a holiday. 
Shav Thirst, thank you for the super chat. You said waiting for peachy beebs. Christmas slimes restock? What is that? I have no idea what that is. But thank you for the super chat, Shaw. Hey. So hey, um, Shaw, will you po will you send me a screenshot of whatever she posted on Twitter since I'm blocked? If you could hook me up with that again on just send it to my Instagram. Someone would rather pay attention to me than their children on a holiday. I, 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 I personally would give anything to have my children in my household so I can celebrate the holidays with them. You would give anything to have your kids in your household to celebrate the holidays with them. All right, let me get this straight, Shani. First off, you chose your boyfriend who physically assaulted your kid, your autistic son. You chose him over your kids. Then, since they've been in foster care, you haven't seen them one time in person. You have not had one visitation with them because you won't take a fucking drug test to see them. You, neither one of you will get a job to provide for them. You literally will not lift a fucking finger to do anything at all for the betterment of your kids. But you're going to sit here and say you would do anything to have them with you. Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck do you think you're fooling with that shit? would rather pay attention to me than their children on a holiday. You're full of fucking I, shit, I, I, bitch. I personally would give anything to have my children in my household so I can celebrate the holidays with them. But these motherfuckers choose to listen to me Instead of paying attention to their children. And then they say, I'm a bad parent. Yes. Okay. Yes, you're a fucking awful parent. You don't deserve to be called a parent, in fact. Because you are no mother. Not one at all. Silence Ledge, thank you for the super chat. You said, tell great Scott Joint that he can trust whatever links I send. Please and thank you. Right? I will definitely tell him that. So we can definitely, he's got to see the OnlyFans at some point. If I have to be tortured with it and have my dreams haunted by nightmares for the rest of my life, so does he. So does he. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Ignore your child for me. I guess I'm that much more specialer in your fucking life. Specialer? I'm that much more specialer in your life. Okay, Shani. I should call my sons. I've been talking to them all day. They're fine. I just, I would have loved to, like, have them here tonight and tomorrow. And we could, like, watch movies together. You know, we always watch the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving together. Not this year, bitch. <laughs> Lardo, I do say that a lot, don't them, I? Though I have no idea what a cantankerous ox is. Oh, that sounds awful. Oxtail is good, though. Oxtail. <laughs> that sounds like Shani's ass. Oxtail is good. Oxtail. <laughs> Make a cutout of the middle finger. <laughs> nah. Is that the is You're that not the worth uh, that time or energy nickname for your ass, Shani? Oxtail. <laughs> That's actually being too nice. <sighs> I don't know. William's growing up way too fast, man. He's he's almost he's already thinking about college and everything and I'm just like I I can't. Yeah, he is growing up fast, isn't he, Shanny? And you're missing out on the last little bit of time that you have with him. Your son 
is growing up. He's about to be an adult in a couple of years. And guess what, Shani? You will never, ever get that time back. This time that you're missing in his life right now, while you're taking your little fucking vacation, you never will get this time back again. You'll never get this Thanksgiving back again. You're never going to get this Christmas back again. You're choosing your boyfriend, a piece of fucking horseshit, idiot fucking loser, over your own two flesh and blood children. And you will never get that time back again. And the fact that you realize that he's growing up so fast and you still make the choices that you make just shows what a piece of fucking shit you are. I hope her, all I can say is I hope her kids don't watch her content. I really do. Can you imagine what this was your mom and you were watching this shit? Anyway, and that's the only way that you're going to see her is to watch her feeling do this better bullshit my green dawn. online? It's going down since it got dark out. Aw, that's <sighs> awesome, single dad life. Okay, Shaw. You should get one dollar every time someone says your name. Oh, that would be awesome. I'd be I'd be a millionaire. I'd be a fucking millionaire. Uh. All right. Fuck her. We've seen enough of her shit for one, one, uh, let's see. Let's pull up. Let me show you guys what the latest shit she's saying on Twitter is. Cause it's fucking ridiculous. As always. All right. Here we go. So this is the latest shit she's saying on her. Is this on Twitter or Instagram? One or the other. I'm not sure which, which it is. But this says, okay, educate yourself before invalidating people who are sick. And she has a picture of a lady um, and a link that says that this lady's rash turned out to be incurable cancer. Right, Shani. But by the way, Shani, that doesn't look the same as what you showed. So I don't know what you're trying to prove here because that is not the same thing. That doesn't even look the same as what the picture that she showed was. Um, so then let's see here. Let me pull up the other one real quick. Dum, 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 dee, dum, dee, do, be, do. And then we've got this that says, like, I'm probably going to lose my hair and my breasts. I'm going to feel so ugly. So shut the hell up and act human. I'm devastated. All I want to take is to take a walk in the woods and feel nature. What? What? This bitch has not even seen a doctor yet. And she's talking about losing her breast and her hair. Are you fucking kidding me right now? And then she says, educate not judge. I need support, not invalidation. Like, do you ever think how much of an asshole you will look when I die from it? Or is your joke more important? And then shows a link that says age of inflammatory breast cancer on average affects women at younger ages than other forms of breast cancer after occurring in women under 40 and it has a median age of diagnosis of 57 although it's very rare uh ibc can also occur in men shani you're not even 40 yet you're not 40 so occurring in women under 40 but also, you have a fucking rash. You have a rash and you are you are already jumping to it's breast cancer and you're going to lose your hair and your breasts. From seeing a fucking 
rash. Either you're fucking delusional and out of your goddamn mind, or what I choose to believe is you're a fucking liar and you are so goddamn desperate for attention that you will say sh stupid shit like this to get it. And you think that we're everybody's going to fall for this shit? Do, like, I don't know how dumb you think we are. But we're not that dumb, bitch. You have a fucking rash from not bathing. It's probably the same goddamn kind of rash that you have had on your fucking forehead for months and months and months. And it's from not bathing, you stupid fat cow. Get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. You are so full of shit, Shani. So full of shit. And the shit that you say is actually so goddamn disrespectful to people who are actually suffering from cancer. And you don't get that. You don't seem to get that. That you're literally slapping the face of other people who are struggling, actually struggling with cancer. So keep saying this bullshit. Keep digging your own grave. Not a grave that you're going to be from in from cancer either. So don't run with that. Just keep ostracizing yourself. Keep, keep making people dislike you even more with this bullshit that you're fucking saying. Because that's what you're doing. You're not getting people to feel bad for you. You're making us hate you even more. So good job. Let's let's give her let's give Shani a round of applause at making people hate her even more. Good job, Shani. Good job. All right, guys, here's the deal. I need to take a little bit of a potty break. So, I'm going to play a song. I know you guys don't like to hear them. But it's better than just staring at a screen. So I'm going to play a song. I'm going to go use the bathroom really quick. And I will be right back. Hold up. You guys can't hear anything? Can you really not hear it? Or are you fucking with me? Hold up. Hey. Let me see. Y'all are messing with me. You really can't hear this? Can you hear me? But you can hear me? You can hear me, but you can't hear her. All right. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see what's going on here. All right, let's try this again. Um, all right, tell me if you can hear it now. Uh. Don't leave me out in the rain. Put 
back and bring back my smile Come and take these tears away I need your arms to hold me now The nights are so unkind Bring back those nights when I held you beside me The joy to my life. Don't leave me here with these tears. Come and kiss the pain away. I can't forget the day you left. Time is so unkind. And life is so cruel without you here beside. All right, I'm back, guys. Don't act like you didn't just love that so much. I know that you did. I know that you did. All right, so by request, we're going to watch um, some older Shanny for a minute. Mix, well, it's older Shanny mixed with some new Shanny. So here we go, guys. If you want to know a little more, if, you, if you're new, if you're more new to the Shanny saga, this will tell you how it was a few years ago for them at this time of year. Some like Chinese. I've been just having sandwiches. Make sure you guys let me know if you can hear this. Ho, ho, ho. I had a sandwich, actually. It's just one sandwich. No. $875 Walmart haul. That's right. Yes, yes. And um, we're going to be like present. It was good. 
but I need food. Food. First bag. It's Christmas cereal. We got this lovely sugar cookie, Toast Crunch. Yes. And then sugar cookie cereal. Look at this, the elf on the shelf. Yeah. It's got marshmallows on it or in it. Don't you want foods? Don't you want foods? I need foods. You can go to PayPal. It is, and you can get this at Walmart. It is a lighted up pink tree. I've always wanted this. This is gonna be beautiful. This is going in our boo drawer. And you can get me food there. What is your foods? Our, our, our bedroom. That's French for bedroom, right? I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Right. Look at Rev dressed up, dude. Like, how pathetic is this guy? What do you mean? Your PayPal yeah. is his PayPal. Foods. Delicious chocolate. That would be good foods. Where is this? This is going on our bedroom door. Door, yeah. How romantic. Oh, this is so pretty. This is going on our window. And notice that she said that that, that basketball thing was going on their bedroom door. Not the boys, but their bedroom. This beautiful lighted cross. Isn't that beautiful? That is really nice. And it's got the blue on it. I can't wait to set this up on our window. Ah. I was watching Preacher and she made pancakes and and with the pancakes was like chocolate syrup and whipped cream and sprinkles and shit like that. And I never thought that was pancakes before. Sorry. This is actually going on my fireplace right there. Nice. And this is Garland. Pre-lit pine garland. For the boil. We got them some cheap floor lamps at Walmart because they break everything. I have this beautiful plaid pillow because that's just beautiful and that's going on my my couch over there. Yes. If you want to, Salem Mac. Foods. Foods. And then I have this. Joy to the world, the Lord, the Lord has come. Let us receive the King. Jesus, please help. And then yeah. I got two yarns. That's for her crochet. Look at that. Look at You're going to be seeing me crochet something with this. Oh, I got a big stinking thing of batteries because I need that to uh, yeah. do my crochet videos. That's I got two, three musketeers because, you know. Girl got to eat. Fat girl. Oh, my God. I wish this world would work. I've given it up my all in life. I'll be honest. Not that bad. fell on the floor. You're not bad. I got two of these Reese's Outrageous. Have you tried these things? Wait, I'm gonna turn that around. Oh, these things are absolutely delicious. And um, yeah. you should eat them ASAP. <sighs> And then I got this cash bro, you know, watermelon stuff. Yes. Foods. These are uh, scented ornaments, and you put this on your Christmas tree, and it like makes it, smell makes it smell all like natural. Yes. The next thing I got was some thread. 
because we'll be straining some popcorn. Yeah. Oh, I got this beautiful angel nightlight. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? This needs to go in the back of our car. And then I got some, like I said, I was gonna strain popcorn. So I got some white corn over, you know, right in Bacher. And then, you know, I'm gonna cook it in my Trisha popcorn maker. Yeah. And then I got this because I figured I'd get hungry by stringing popcorn. So I got this like popping and topping. Yum. Butter oil. That's some good stuff. Mm. Baby. Food. The next thing I got is, uh, uh, of course, the official Captain Crunch or Christmas Crunch because. It's not Christmas without Christmas crunch. That's my favorite holiday cereal. And it's got this beautiful cartoon on the back. Lovely. We all know it. This actually is for my guinea pigs. This is meadow hay bales. And basically this is good for their jaw, for them to gnaw on. Hi Gavin Kitcox. He's on camera right now, folks. It's Gavin the Kitty Cut. He's so cute and I know that. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all and to all of Oh. Your touch feels good. This is one of those like cat tunnels. Oh my God. Why and then I got a couple of cubes to attach to this. Oh, this right here. Look at this. Is icicle fringe and you can put it on your banister of your fireplace yeah. and it just looks like icicles and it's so pretty and I'm gonna like it's gonna look beautiful this is um one of those cat cubes that I was talking about you see people are mean I got a lighted foot switch so basically you plug it into the wall, but it has a foot switch so you can turn off the lights at night. That's okay. So you'll save energy this way. Um, are you starting to see why these two are broke now? Is it starting to make sense? Oh, I got some white cheddar popcorn se seasoning. So. I am in need of what people like to call sustenance. In other words, I need to put something in my mouth that that's not a dry ramen noodle. Oh, I got some liquid snow. Yes. And I have this, this is really cool. This is ice crystal. So it makes those like ice crystal-y patterns. Wow. I think that's gonna look really cool. Yeah. You plug them in and they're little lighted up candy canes. So I'm gonna be decorating with these as well oh, i look yeah. like i look like the christmas little bo peep right now you're so cute do you realize i've been literally eating dry ramen noodles dry this is ramen. not fiction so i'm in need okay treat stream will not work don't send a treat stream because it's just it doesn't work work no there's two this is um christmas bows and i actually have something special i'm gonna do with a manger in these. So I have this and it has Merry Christmas. This is a table cover. I got another light light and look at, it's a beautiful unicorn. Let me take her out. You're my unicorn. Yes, but everything of mine needs to be unicorn. It's a Christmas unicorn. Isn't that pretty? I am the Christmas unicorn. What? Yeah, I see a ser I see a serotonin. Yeah, I know. Well, the job thing, I know. Uh treat stream won't work. So, can you lay down like twenty bucks or so? So I have another video that I'll be doing for you guys, and that's taste testing these delicious hostess triple chocolate brownies if i if i could get 20 bucks i could get a sub if if uh if it's more like 40 bucks i could do a lot more than that but where we're at it's so bad 
I can't tell you. It's bad. There's no grocery stores really close. It's 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 bad. So if you could hook a brother up. There's one. These mint chocolate Twinkies. Whoa. I mean, limited edition. Yeah. We'll be taste testing them on this channel. Some delicious winter mint ding dongs. It's got blue frosting. Check that out. Ding dong. Because I can't seem to get enough of this type of stuff. I got myself a really cool sewing kit. More of this beautiful yarn. I need you, Santa. I know. We have oh, oh, oh. a Yoda. We have a Chewbacca. Chewy, oh on. my God, he looks so angry and chibi. Yeah. Oh, Those these, are mine. These are for the hubby. He's got some Star Wars bed pants. For me, a sync cable for my iPhone. Need it. <sighs> Medication we're okay on. Hi, Janice. <laughs> Shaddy's right here. She's hungry, you know? Last thing I got was um, these 100 watt dimmable light bulbs. This is an edible log for guinea pigs. Exactly, Araya Sunshine. I want you guys to notice, okay? All of this, they have not said one time that they got anything for the boys. Not one time. Or actually, I take that back. They did say that they got the boys a floor lamp because they break shit. And then can go into it and hide. And um, at the same time, they can eat it because it's made from alfalfa and golden honey. Oh, oh, the mistletoe. Oh, oh. Well, if you want an update, okay. I don't want to go into specifics, to be honest. There's no, I can't tell you anything right now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we have ramen noodles. Uh, and yes, we have ramen, but I'm eating it raw. I, I, it's like, it's, we don't have a stovetop or anything or a vessel to cook anything in. There's no vessel. So, <laughs> There's no vessel to cook I've been eating raw in, ramen noodles with, and I take the seasoning packet do? and I open it up and I, I dab my finger with some seasoning and I eat the seasoning with it. That's how I've been eating. Candy cane rope lights? Yep. Aren't they the door? I have love and it's gold. I have a red bow. I forgot what I was using that for. I have a blue leafy clip thing that... Oh, I got another bumper sticker. Oh, another bumper sticker. Aren't so cute? I'm going to be putting this on my pink tree, actually. Check this out. Look at this. It's a little pink sparkly car with a little tree on it. We have a beautiful church. And then I have another blue clip here. I have these beautiful angel wings. Look at them. Isn't that a beautiful ornament? This beautiful purple star. Raw men, exactly. Raw I've been eating men. raw men. <laughs> we have a microwave, yeah, serotonin, but we don't have a vessel to cook in right There's now. There's no vessel. Shit out of luck. Uh, wrapping paper? This is my stocking. Because, you know, how could this not be a stocking for me? Put your dress down, be a lady. <laughs> And then I got some regular light bulbs because, you know, you need regular light bulbs. And we got these beautiful cards that says, God's love still shines bright. That they sent to no one, I'm sure. wonder if you can see that in the lighting. We got two more of the lighted switch foot. Was another pillow, a cardinal to be exact. Jason saw this and he's like, this is so you. It's a unicorn with um, the Bronco on it. I'm asking for kindness from you because I really do need to eat something. Personally, me. Um. Two more of these 
balls of yarn because I love the color. But, um, I mean, the best update that I can give you is we're living. Yeah, we're living. Uh, the current state of how we're living is like, whoa. Next thing I got was some window clean art. Because, you know. Because, you know, we got to be tacky as fuck. Cat people here. And tacky cat people. Got some window clean with the snowflakes. The joy of painting. Bob Ross. It works for him. I got two of these potato chips just, you know, for the clout. And they're called wrap snacks. And we got sour cream with a dab of ranch by Migos. And then cheddar and barbecue by Cardi B. You love my misery? Oh, wow, okay. Awesome, look at this. This is one of those Himalayan salt rocks. This is for the hubby. If you want to be some flaming hot Chester fries. And then I got some more decorations. I got more decorations. These beautiful peacock, a peacock clip for the tree. A purple leaf, a pink flower. I have this beautiful pink seahorse. And then I got this purple clip right here. I have this beautiful hummingbird right here. Look at that. It's got little like gold beads on it. Isn't that beautiful? The detail on that. Look at that. That's beautiful. I got another sink cable. I got this. This is so cute. Let me fix this a little bit. Look at this. Little snowflakes. Go to churches. I mean, yeah, that's... So, yeah. I mean, that's... I. It's literally just uh, asking for some grace. You know? Oh, all my mirrors. They didn't bring any of this shit. Literally none of it did they bring with them when they left Colorado. None. Because it, in the last... I like two weeks. I've I've eaten like the biggest thing I had because we had some money was uh. Well, no, but I'm thinking Burger King. Yeah. I had Burger King. <laughs> but it's been a long time. Hello, and it says blessed on it. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. This crystal glowing unicorn. I figured this would be fun to do. The next ornament is this beautiful Christmas tree that Jason picked out. And he got himself some Skittles. It's another peacock. But his uh, feathers are in. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Peanut M&Ms for the hubby. Was these pixie filled candy canes. Got some red hot candy canes. I got another cube for the cat to sit in. But I need food. Foods. Don't you want foods? I got raspberry canes, some Queen Anne, Queen Anne cordial cherries. They don't know about this. We got them some bags of coal, which is just basically candy. I have. That's literally all they got for the kids. Did you guys see that? They got kid the kids a bag of fake Foods. coal. That's candy. Out of all of that stuff. Don't you want foods? I got raspberry canes, some Queen Anne, Queen Anne cordial cherries. They don't know about this. Right here, this is what the kids got. got. This is it. They got the kids fake coal that's candy. Got them some bags of coal, which is just basically candy. And the cheap I lamp. Have the goddess of all Christmas headbands. This is beautiful. It has a tiara. It has reindeer ears. I love this. And then a bunch of more gold garland. 60 icicle blue LEDs. Light. And she's so like out of breath and shit just from doing this. Literally out of breath. And uh that's pretty much what $875 of Christmas stuff can pretty much buy you at Walmart. Okay. That's it. There's that. $900 worth, oops, $900 worth of shit at Walmart. And that was it. That's can what I? she got. So, 
now we're going to go finish the rest of this stream from today of Rev for anybody who didn't see the rest of it. And then we'll decide where we're going to go from there. Let's watch Rev be more pathetic. And Rev, we just saw why you are broke now. Don't feel sorry for you at all. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Like, what is his point here? I would love to know. Uh, health, that's a good deal. Like, what are you doing this for, Rev? Oh, 100% the holidays were all about her. Thanks. 100%. Right? This is so awkward. It's, like, cringy as fuck. Yeah, hopefully the medical system can uh, continue to improve and um, people can get their medicines and stuff. Yeah, I know. You're right, a girl has no name. You're right. I'm trying to do what's best for both of us at the same time. How so, Rev? How are you trying to do what's best for both of you? Explain that to me. This is what's best for both of you? So you not getting a job, that wouldn't be what's best? Like, he just sits there and stares at the camera. What a fucking loser. Well, I'm trying to, uh, do something good by being on here. He's trying to do something good by being on here, okay? That makes no sense whatsoever. 
Yeah, I hear you, Dakini. Thank you for that. I heard Dakini. Yeah. Is her name Dakini because of your love? <laughs> Shani asks uh, Daikini, is, it, is that your name because of Willow? No, I ain't Zen at all, Zabonkers. I'm not Zen at all. I'm trying my best to, to like, ignore bad stuff. And, like, Mike really helps me. Watching Mike helps me. I'm I'm just trying my best to to be okay. It's just my own effort, you know. Right. Sure, Rev. I've been outside. It's... Fresh air does help. <laughs> Now her name is it, it's D A K I N I after the eleventh insight book. So no. Yeah, Shani's in pain. Bad pain. No, you didn't miss nothing, Shorty. Uh, Bye, Errant Massa. Yeah, she she does her best to keep it dry. To keep it dry? What is he talking about? Never mind. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Yeah, I rub her all day. You know, I I, I try to massage her most of the day. <laughs> what? Okay, gotcha, Takini. No, I mean nerdy. It's mainly it's mainly just pain everywhere. Just everywhere, pain everywhere. Sure, Rev. Thank you. Do you? I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it really is hell because it's like you're a prisoner in your own body. It's like you want to do things, but you can't. You're just trapped. Okay, Red Feather. I'll it's, check them it's out. It's horrible. <clears throat> Cats are doing all right. Wow, THC muffin, you broke your back in a motorcycle accident, my God.
<laughs> yeah, we love our babies. Your love what babies? Yeah, she's been losing massive weight, lots of weight. So that's another reason why we think what it is is it, it is. <clears throat> she has not been losing weight. She has not been losing weight. We've seen her, Rev. She's been on camera. Look at his face. Just look at his face. <laughs> the poo costume. I love both cats and dogs now. Hello. Baby. I love you. Weather's whatever, you know. At least it ain't snowing. You guys could talk to each other. Like, I'm just... I'm just, I'm trying to chill out, man. I'm doing my best to not fall apart, okay? Hi, Leslie. Hi, St. Ratty. Look at this pathetic loser.
What, honey? <laughs> yeah. They'd love to hear from you a little bit. You want to hear? You want to be on a little bit? Just a little. I don't have the energy to pick up my fucking phone. Mm -hmm. If you see Gavin, man, he's like, I'm not even in the mood to hear you. Just talk back to me. Yeah, I do. Thank you. Don't torture yourself. Thank you. And then that's how he ended it. So fucking pathetic. So then um, she's posted some more shit on uh, Discord. Not on Discord. Someone sent it to me on Discord. On Twitter, I think, is where she posted this shit. So let me show you guys this. For anyone who hasn't seen it yet. She has, she said, which I read this one, but I'll read it again for anybody who didn't see it. Like, I'm probably going to lose my hair and my breast. I'm going to feel so ugly. So shut the hell up and act human. I'm devastated. All I want is to take a walk in the woods and feel nature. Right. And then she says to Heavenly, uh, Heavenly, Heavenly, Mo Heavenly's mommy. She says, did you not hear what I'm saying? This isn't some Google search. It's reality. Get real and stop invalidating me on something serious. You wouldn't like it if it was done to you. Right. Okay, Shani. Then, then she says, in heaven, I'm going to live, live because this life never gave me a chance to live. Always struggling, always lonely, always sad. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. My last hurrah, as if you, as you will. My body is full of poison fueled by suffering. Jesus is king. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, I got to read that one again. In heaven, I'm going to live because this life never gave me a chance to live. Always struggling, always lonely, always sad. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. My last hurrah, as you will. My body is full of poison, fueled by suffering. Jesus Christ is king. Okay, Shani. Then she says, my body is... It's a fucking prison of torture and pain. I want a new avatar. A new body. And then she says, the, oh, then it's the, like, I'm going to lose my hair and breast. I'm going to feel so ugly. So shut the hell up and act human. I'm devastated. All I want is to take a walk in the woods and feel nature. Let's see. And then is there anything else? No. I think that's it. I think that is it. So, you guys, I think I've had about enough of this bitch for today. Um. If they go live again, I will bring that to you as I do. But I think I'm going to wrap this stream up for now. Um, you guys are awesome.
Thank you for hanging out with me. You guys make watching this shit bearable, to be honest, because I can't with these two. Like, I just can't. They're so full of shit. It's just crazy. Um, so I'm going to go. Like I said, if anything else happens, I'll come back. But for now, I'm going to say bye-bye. I'm going to leave you with the song, like I do, like I always do. And I hope that you guys have a great night. Um, I love each and every one of you. You're awesome. And I will see you next time. Okay? Bye, guys. We were walking just the other day. It was so hot outside, you could fry an egg. They Remember, were... you were talking. I watched the sweat run down your face. Reach up and cut it at your chin. Okay, hold on. I'm back for a second. Just for a split second. I did promise Ellen the dog video. She just reminded me. So I'm going to pull that up. Because I keep my promises. Unlike Rev and Shani, I keep my word. So let me show you guys this. It's good for a laugh. And it's not long. So it only takes a second. But um, this is me and my dog, and uh, you're going to, if you haven't seen this before, you'll get a kick out of it. Let's see here. Let me pull it up for you guys. All right. This is me walking my dog, Noah. Noah, ready? Puppy treats? Puppy treats? Oh, my goodness. Ow, <laughs> Noah, good God. <laughs> Noah. Noah, ready? Puppy treats? Puppy treats? Oh my goodness. Ow, Noah, good God. <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Noah, ready? Puppy treats? Puppy treats? Oh my goodness. Ow, Noah, good God. Noah. Yeah. It doesn't ever get old. Noah, ready? Puppy treats? Puppy treats? Oh my goodness. Ow, Noah, good God. Noah. Okay, now I'm going to leave you guys. <laughs> don't say I don't love you, Ellen. You know I love you. I would not leave like that. So now I'm going to end the stream. Bye, guys. <laughs> My fingertip We were, we were Wasting time Wasting time Let the hours roll by Doing nothing for the fun Little taste of the good life Whether right or wrong Makes us want to stay, 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 stay Stay for a while Then the clouds roll over heads and it began to rain. Oh, we were dancing, mouths open, splashing in the dark taste. Oh, messed up. <laughs> we all are. For a moment, this good time would never end. You and me, you and me, just wait. all messed up. It's a moonlight. Now I'm not wrong, so wrong. fine. I just want to stay, 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 stay for a while. Make me want to make you want to make you want
Don't you make no water.